All right, let's start this recording. Paw Patrol, the movie Adventure Calls. The third Paw Patrol game I'm playing on this channel, YouTube. If you remember, the second Paw Patrol game was the first game I played on stream on my Series X. Really showing off the power of the Series X. We have the other two games completed. They took around three hours, four hours. Uh, this game takes longer at around seven to eight. Uh, seven to eight, not 78. I don't know if I'm going to complete the game on stream because I don't know if I could do that much Paw Patrol. But I have to I have to complete the trilogy at least. I got to at least finish the story chat. I got to at least finish, finish the trilogy. Uh, also, when this game launched, it had glitched achievements, but they have since been patched. Thank God. Also, I'm sitting because uh, my legs hurt and my throat kind of hurts uh, from sucking all that dick from uh, the mascot tournament yesterday, which is now on YouTube, by the way, if you want to give it a watch. Too much hype, I know. Too much hype. What a mess yeah, that tournament was. Dude. Oh, by the way, this is a movie-based game. Paw Patrol the movie Adventure City Calls, dude. Yo, Ash, Foppel, Volinor, Ardwolf, thank you. Oh, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, yeah, you can't watch this. You'll be spoiled. If you don't want to be spoiled, click off the stream. It'll be up on YouTube if you want to watch. Let's fucking go! All right, we got eight missions and a bunch of mini games. So just like the other games, if for some reason you've watched those playthroughs, you have to complete all the levels and get all the collectibles. If you miss a collectible, you have to play the whole level over again. There are some sneaky little collectibles. And uh, there's like driving sections where if you miss one, you cannot restart. You got to play through the whole thing all over again. Also, look at that blue fucking thing in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. That looks like, you know, like the NFT shape. That's at 144p. We are in for a treat. We are in for a treat here. Let's get to it. I'm ready. I can't even, oh no, I know one dog. Rubble is the one in the middle. Thanks for coming so quickly. Hey man. That's right, his disaster. name is a Mayor Humdinger. Hell yeah. Oh, fireworks are bad. Some sparks have started small fires all over the city. We need rubble. Oops, sorry. We'll need you to clear the way with your power drill. I skipped the lore, my apologies. Marshall, you'll need to put out the fire. Ooh, Marshall and rubble, okay. Paw Patrol is on a roll. Let's go, Marshall and rubble. Chat, which one are you? Tag yourself. How's this game look worse than the last one? <laughs> because your eyes are fucking broken? This is incredible. This is the peak of video games. Oh, dude. This is taking a while to load. Even with the power of the Series X. They gotta be loading all the good graphics on the gameplay. Individual hair textures on each dog. Right? Oh, yeah. This is great. Like you'll have to continue on paw. Marshall, lead the way. Oh, instead of on foot, on paw. Get it? Movement. Use this to move the pup. Okay, yep, I got it. Yeah! Look at us go, chat. Great, but be careful. We don't know how much damage the fireworks may have caused. I appreciate this kid stopping me every 10 seconds. He's just gonna stop me here to teach me how to jump. Jump. Yeah, I jumped on the fucking yeah. signs. Thanks. Possum. Keep up the good work. Oh, right. He says possum a lot because it's like awesome, but with paw. Oh, it's all coming back, dude. Fucking possum, let's go. Don't forget to pick up all the pup treats you find along the way. Oh, uh, don't worry, random kid. I'm going to miss one and go fucking feral and be so mad. Should have played this on Thursday. 
Oh, by the way, speaking of Thursday, chat, there will be a stream this Thursday because that's when the Summer Games Fest event is. I don't know how long it's supposed to be, but we'll uh, we'll stream that. And then Sunday, of course, we have the Xbox event and hopefully going for 2 million gamer score. At least that's the plan. There are a lot of rumors coming out that um, the GoldenEye remaster is supposed to come out on Sunday. It got leaked a while ago, but now the achievements are officially on Xbox, so people are assuming it's going to get announced on Sunday and maybe even released on Sunday, which would be so hype. You are doing great. That would be very exciting. I'm interested to see how that game has aged. <laughs> it might be... You know, I'm excited now. It might be very not exciting uh, <laughs> when we actually play it, but... The schedule for next week is pretty much planned out, except for Wednesday. Um, this is a job for Rubble. Oh shit, Rubble! I don't know what we're playing on Wednesday yet. Pup. Use this to switch from one okay. pup to the other. Hope for Perfect Dark. A Perfect Dark remaster already came out on the 360. Uh, oh, it's like X. Okay, just like in fucking Lego Star Wars. Paw interaction. Press this inside the circle to activate the paw interaction. As long as it's better than the GoldenEye remake with Daniel Craig. Oh, I have that game. Uh, then press repeatedly. Like GoldenEye 007 Reloaded or some shit? Yeah, that game was pretty mid. I didn't mind it, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't ideal. All right, we did it. We made a hole. No, I'm skipping House of Ashes. It's not meant to be. Not meant to be. Also, I was kind of on the fence with that game anyway, so... Divine Intervention has told me not to play it. Just like Mass Effect. So I'm going to skip it. Where can you watch the Xbox Bethesda thing? Uh, we'll be streaming it here, but it's going to be on Twitch and YouTube. Fuzzy, thank you for the 47. Collect as many pup treats as you can. I'm fucking trying, homie, all right? I'm going as fast as I can. There's no sprint button. Oh, badge. Nice. You found a badge. I appreciate the badge icon in the top right hand corner glowing when you're near one. I wonder how far you can go back if we miss a collectible, if I can go all the way back. I hope you're ready for some more games meant for children, chat, because when we're going for 2 million gamer score next week, we're playing uh, the My Little Pony game that just came out and Peppa Pig to get us to uh, 2 million. Daunted Man, thank you, Hollow, Fluke, Crown Sheep, Raz, Sad Girl, Katie, thank you, everybody, thank you. Oh, Pastry Man, gifting a sub to Mayor Humdinger, I didn't even notice that, thank you. I could use more reasons to hate myself. <laughs> Those games will definitely help. Watching a 32-year-old adult man playing My Little Pony and Peppa Pig. Whoa, what a mess. I think they're supposed to take like... To keep going. Not too long. Maybe like an hour and a half each. Though, on True Achievements, the completion time for My Little Pony says uh, like one to two hours. But a PlayStation guy just popped up and it said four hours. So, like, what? I'll probably do a, uh, a test run of both games just to make sure, like, everything unlocks properly and I know what I'm doing. But that is a huge gap. Oh, look at this. 
This is what I mean by sneaky collectibles. You can, like, just go up there and miss the two guys down here. Oh, that's mean. That's gonna be fucking rude. Love it when you play games for children because people get mad about you playing games for children gives you a reason to ban their dumbasses. No, not really ban. Not always. Just make fun of them. You're playing this but not Elden Ring? Yeah, dude. I only play good games, idiot. Lamal? Get pwned, noob? Did we get all of the collectibles? Oh, thank God. Okay. Woo! Let's go! All right, now this driving section is where shit gets annoying. So you have to change lanes to collect bones. But sometimes you have to go all the way from, like, the right lane to the left lane or vice versa. And you, like, barely have enough time. It's actually kind of brutal. Because there's, like, a delay when you switch lanes. Like, this could unironically be difficult. Also, I think these are random spawns. I don't know if it's fixed. I was, uh, I was doing some research on this game before we started playing. Because, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going for all the achievements. But, yeah, I think, yeah, these are, I think these are random. You can get some absolutely scuffed spawns. As silly as that is to say in a fucking Paw Patrol game, the game could fuck you. Like that. Oh! I think I got it. Yeah. It should always go up in increments of five, by the way, if you did it correctly. At least I think these are random spawns. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, we're good. Woo! Nice. Perfect. Oh my God, is that 4K? Is that a 4K fire truck? Fire truck, water bubbles. The draw distance isn't much help. No, what do you mean? The FOV is great. It's at like seven. There we go. We got all the bones in the main level. We got all the bones in the driving off, uh, level. I don't said possum. And uh, we finished that bit. Good One job, level Marshall. down. You put the fire out. Rubble's right. It looks like there's a missing fire hydrant. <laughs> Where'd the music go? Why are we still... Hello? What? This is very... Un okay. <laughs> that was very uncomfortable. <laughs> they were just fucking staring at each other. Like, man, there's no fire uh, fi fire hydrant here, huh? And then it went on for another, like, 15 seconds. Okay. Ooh, a rare achievement. A good start. Nice. They're like, where do we piss? Ooh, Pup Pup Boogie's back? Let's go. Okay, so all the levels have, like, finish the level and then uh, essentially perfect the level achievements before we get to minigames and stuff. 30,000 bones we need to get. We have 1,000. Fuck. So you got 600 for beating the normal level, 200 for the driving section, and another 200 for getting gold in that level. All right, on to the next one, boys. Traffic patrol. Ah, oh, shit, we gotta be a cop. This does put Panjo Kazooie to shame. Pops, thanks for rushing over. Hey, you're welcome. Ray William Johnson as a kid. Looks like we have another emergency. 
A big rainstorm is causing major problems. Just fucking get a big umbrella, idiot. It looks like there was an accident that brought all the city traffic to a standstill. Little uh, car centipede there. Liberty, you'll have to find the best way to get to the scene of the accident as quickly as possible. Chase, while the other pups clear up the accident, we need you to redirect traffic. All right. Paw Patrol is on a roll. Chase and Liberty. Yo, Molly, Bucca, Ron, awesome. Solstice, thank you. Okay, Kona, finally an American dog. <laughs> no, I think Sky's the other one. The other, uh, <laughs> the other bitch, am I right? Stubby, thank you for the 49 months. Quick, Liberty, look for the fastest route to move forward. All right, 600 collectibles again. Here we fucking go. Also, so I forgot, I didn't see who saw, said it in chat, but uh, the music is kind of ska like. So, yeah, dude, it's not even raining. What the fuck? I guess the rain happened already. If we're trying to make sense of a Paw Patrol game. But, chat, going back to you talking about the schedule, I'll uh, post it tomorrow, at least most of it. Uh, Monday, we're off. So, tomorrow, we're off. Tuesday, we have Resident Evil 5 with Chibi. Uh, assuming there's no scheduling changes. Wednesday, I'm not sure yet. Thursday, we have Summer Games Fest. Friday, we're checking out the uh, new Mario Strikers game. Saturday, I'm off. And then Sunday, we have uh, the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase and 2 million gamer score. And then the following week will most likely be all Pokemon Crystal Clear. <laughs> That looks about right. Should be a fun week. I haven't played the new Mario Strikers game yet. I know they've done like their tests or whatever. They're like betas or whatnot. I haven't played any of that shit. I haven't really played much of the uh, Strikers game to be honest. But I mean, it looks fun. And the potential for, like, 4v4 online could be really fun. But, you know, Nintendo Online, so who knows? Who knows? You know a majority of people ain't dongled up, so... Could be a fucking mess. Thanks, Ray William Johnson. I'm just collecting bones, you know me. What is Liberty doing? Her best. Do Yakuza game at Summer Games Fest. I mean, if there's another Yakuza game being made, RGG isn't talking about it. They gave an update on the next Yakuza game, but at least there's, unless there's a second one. I don't think we'll hear about it until next year at the earliest. She's telling some Liberty City stories. God, I wish those games got remade. Maybe not by Grove Street Games, but I wish those games got remade. I should maybe try playing them again. They were fun. I played the PSP versions a while ago on an emulator, but maybe I could play them again on the PS2 emulator this time so I could actually use both analog sticks. Oh, dude, Puptacular chat? Nice. Oh, I need Liberty. <clears throat> Good job, Liberty. 
You can use the scooter to take a shortcut down that alley to get there faster. Watch out for things in your way. Sure. Oh, it's this. Oh, great. Why is the counter inverted? Yeah, I noticed that, but I have no idea why. Just use the scooter. Yo, Moto Cop, am I right? Why couldn't Chase use this? That'd be perfect. This fucking RNG is not good. These spawns are cringe. Just keep them in front of me, I beg of you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Looks like I'm a drunk driver shifting all these goddamn lanes. Oh, I thought I missed one. Yikes. Also, this scooter sounds like it's fucking dying. Ah, we're good. All right. I yeah, cool. Dude. Nice. Guess we did it fast as well. Wow, that scooter is super fast. Is it, Ray William Johnson? It felt real fucking slow. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Liberty, you'll have to find the best way to get to the scene of the accident yeah, as dude. quickly as possible. Liberty's intuition. Liberty will create a trail to guide you to what we need to do next. Isn't it just jump up the boxes? What? Make sure there's nothing tucked away in this corner. Good thing I have her intuition, dude. Oh, a camera rotation? Okay. Hey, dickhead, there's collectibles over here, all right? Shut up. Oh, the kid. So you can't manually shift the camera? It kind of, it's a fixed camera, like Resident Evil in a 3D platformer is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying, if you can believe it. Yo, Seth, thank you for the 49 months. I'm going to double back here, make sure I grabbed everything. Can't believe Resident Evil stole... Oh, good thing I came back. Uh, good... Yeah. I can't believe Resident Evil stole from this. Same. I hope that Resident Evil 4 remake is good. We'll have to see. I hope so, man. I hope so. Do achievements track? Of course not. Of course not. That would be too good. Grappling hook. Point to the correct area. Then press this to launch the hook. Yeah, all right. Grappling hook. Once the hook is in position, secure it down and then press to climb it. Woo! I hope Ashley's voice from Cindy from the Jimmy Neutron. Oh my God, is she really? I guess that makes sense. I never even realized that. You know, now that you say it, that's absolutely, yeah. I never even put two and two together. How does Sky get up here? Well, first off, that's Liberty, all right? You fake fan. Yeah, you know, she flies. Yeah, I wonder if the voice actors will be the same. I mean, you would hope so, right? But who knows? <laughs> I 
Okay, a little 360 there. The fucking... The yield or caution, whatever that is. Look at it. They didn't even render it. It's... <laughs> what the fuck? It's like a yellow mold. It's below 144p. I mean, you know what? It's a kid's game. Kids probably don't fucking give a shit or notice this. But come on. Kids deserve better. Is Liberty okay? Let me play as Liberty. She's having some issues, dude. This is how the dogs see it? Oh, shit. It all, it all makes sense now. Yeah, never mind. Like that fan. All oh, the collectibles. Thank God. All right. Good thing we went back for that other one, dude. This game makes you really feel like the Paw Patrol. Whoop! Alrighty. Chase, it's your turn. Help the drivers get out of the traffic jam. Sure. Yo, Joe Sass, thank you for the five gifted subs. Anonymous gifting a sub. Tech, Seth. Magical girl. Activate the paw interactions in the right order to solve the traffic jam. Oh. Uh, this one, I guess. Great. Which car needs to move next? Why did they stop? There was no cars in their way. What? Yeah, dude. Uh, did a fucking 1080 there. Oh, are we gonna get awkward silence again? You oh god, no. Again. Oh god, no. Possum. Possum chat. Great job, pups. Oh no. <laughs> oh, a smart car. Oh my god, a drive by. Get down. Okay, thank god. We're safe. No awkward silence, just a weird drive-by paparazzi shit taking pictures of dogs, I guess. <laughs> he has a gun, get down! Ooh, 420. Too much dog, great name to sub. Uh, thank you for the tier one sub. Dream Crushed, uh, Torcane Agent, or Argent, sorry, thank you. Oh, Liberty, all right. Rubble, nice. Keep it going. So if I go to collectibles. Oh shit. Okay, I unlocked a build. <laughs> hey guys, you wanna see uh you wanna see all around the building? This is what it looks like. There you go. Also we have the scooter. Is there achievement art for this game? It's probably not great. Yo, traffic code, let's go! Oh, they're all, are they all traffic cones? Oh no, they match with the level, okay. One is not gold and one is gold. Okay, I got it. All right, it's game options, huh? Okay. Mission number three, let's see what we got next. The electrical shutdown, oh fuck. Who do we got? Glad you're here, pups. Where else would we go? We live here. We have an electrifying problem at City Hall. A generator lost power and now there's a blackout. Ah, fuck. People can't see anything and someone could get hurt. We don't want that. Sky, you'll need to use your drone to replace any blown out batteries in the streetlights. Rocky, 
You'll be in charge of repairing the fuses. Paw Patrol, we're on a roll. Yo, is that Rocky, the winner of the last mascot tournament, dude? And Sky? I bet it's still daytime now. No way. For this game? No, it's going to be pitch blackout. See, just like I said, pitch blackout. God, the game loads so slow, even on a Series X. Oh, okay. It's like kind of nighttime, I guess. I'm an adult virgin. Ooh, Let's this one only has 500. Okay. Interesting. Wow, it's so dark. Uh, yo, Stardust, brand new sub. Thank you, Blizzard Hawk. Thank you for the 54. Um, make sure there's nothing back here. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I'll need night vision for this level. I appreciate the nice little touch that depending on the dog you are, the bones change color. That's game design, baby. Possum. Yo, 69, let's go. They spare no expense, it's true. Guy named CJ. Thank you for the $5 tip. So we're uh, three levels in to an eight-level uh, campaign. Guys, what do you think? Pretty good, right? A lot of uh, variety in the gameplay. They really went all out with the third one here. As someone in chat said, spared no expense. Game of the year? Yeah, game of the year 2021, right? It came out last year, but it, just, it works now. All right, Sky, we need you. All right. Sure, man. A U.S. controlled drone. What could go wrong? Move until the drone gets into the right position. Then press this when active to catch it. Yeah, dude. Oh. Uh. Okay. Drone catch. Press this inside the highlighted area. Give my dad. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Oh my god, it doesn't even go in correctly. <laughs> Pop. So that was Steve -O agreeing this is the game of the year. Yeah, Steve -O knows. Steve -O's a, a true gamer. Okay, I plugged in two batteries with the drone. I saved the day. Thanks for the confetti. Now we're just littering. Aren't you the recycle dog? Should you not want to litter? You fucking freak. Also, yeah, no, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Way to go. Trying to make me go up there, you son of a bitch. There's collectibles here. Koji Kondo's got nothing on the soundtrack. Yeah, he should just retire. That was everything over here, right? Use your copter. She has a drone and a helicopter. Oh my god, alright. She's crazy. She's cracked. Alright. Oh, what the? Oh, shit, I went the wrong way! I was very confused for a second. It's the same thing, but in the air. All right.
I love that I immediately drove or flew into the balloons with the X's on them. Actual idiot. I picked the wrong way. Cool. A little 50-50 and I blew it. Oh, disagree. Disagree. All right. Nice. It must be a gender reveal party. <laughs> How's the game? Uh, this is the best game I've ever played. Rocky, yeah, use dude. your tools to fix the generators. Where are they? A little premature on that uh call out, huh? Ramirez, take out that chopper. Speaking of Ramirez, I think we're supposed to get um in the tweet for Summer Games Fest. They said your first ever look at uh. Like uh, the the single player campaign for Modern Warfare 2. Keep it up. Find as many pup trees as you can. Excited for that. Hope that's gonna be a lot of fun. Hope that game's good. Modern Warfare 2 is a certified hood classic, and I would really hope they don't fuck it up. Is Burger Down at uh, Burger Town coming back? I hope so. And 4 4K glory. Pugtacular. It's so funny because he's saying Pugtacular or whatever, or Paul Tacular. But the the subtitle says excellent. Like what? <laughs> The Modern Warfare remake in 2019 was so good and so well done. It's actually well received by a lot of people. Even people don't give a shit about Call of Duty. Um, so, you're hoping the same happens with Modern Warfare 2. Fingers crossed, but maybe I'm just like hopped up on Copium chat. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh. To the correct area. And then hold then down A. This down to sure. It got you back in. Yeah, I think that happened with a lot of people. It almost had kind of a similar effect to when uh, Fortnite had no building. People got back into Call of Duty. And I think there's still people that played Modern Warfare 2019 a lot. Oh, my legs weren't working there. Did you see that? I was just gliding across the ground. <laughs> Rhea, dude, I'm sus. I'm at electrical. Is that how the minigame works in Among Us chat? Is it just like that? Outstanding. Because I can do that. I'm pretty good at that. I just have to hold the button. Dude, Among Us stole from this game too. The 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 nerve, dude. Have an original idea, game developers, please. Uh, the end credit scene for Modern Warfare 2019 was a great setup. I agree. I'm fearing I am missing one biscuit. That's why I try to keep checking corners and stuff, but. If I miss one, check and just yell at me to turn around, see if I could salvage it. Am I going to glide again? Okay, I only glided, glid for a little bit. There's a problem. Fuses are missing from the electrical panel. Okay. Four fuses are missing. They must have blown right off the panel. 
Oh, you're not going to read the final line? Okay. Why would you stop halfway? Rocky, when we have them all, you can fix the main generator. <laughs> why, why, why did you stop? Okay. Maybe the kid who voiced Ray William Johnson was acting up. He's like, I don't want to read this line. You found the first fuse. I will leave that for now. Great. You found another one. Hey, Let's okay, cool. We got all of them. Away. Don't give up now. There's just one to go. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. You hope they don't mess with Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer too much? I mean, they can either, like, mess with it and fix it because it was kind of a mess. Or they can leave it as it was before. Which some people may like. So I don't know, like, where I personally stand on that. Like, do I really want them to bring back the 1887s? I don't know. Maybe. Do I want to be Commando Knight from across the world? Not necessarily. Or they might just focus on Warzone. That's true. I'm sure there's going to be some Warzone integration. I mean, that makes them all their money. All right, Hyperloop Havoc. What the fuck? Obsidian Mist, Obsidian Thorn, Filipino Fury, Shadow Link Panda, Degon, Gender Sprout, Shadow Vanguard. Uh, we got D's, we got Hobbs, Neon Glowbox, Karu, CJ with the $5 again. Thank you. <laughs> but Elon Musk is mad. Oh no, not Elon. Looks like we've got another problem. Hope he's not upset. Terrible news has shaken the city today, pups. Oh, the buildings look scared. Vibrations from Humdinger's Hyperloop have caused cracks in the Grand Hotel, and it's starting to fall to pieces. Chase, it'll be your job to guide Rubble through the city to get there as quickly as possible. Rubble, when you arrive at the hotel, You'll take care of clearing any debris off the road. Ooh, the wrecking ball. Paw Patrol is on a We're roll. on a roll. You thought that was a bomb? Dude, what is your problem? Yeah, the Paw Patrol are actually just domestic terrorists. STFU, bro, he started no with nothing but a colonial emerald mine. <laughs> Keep my billionaire, billionaire in his name out of your mouth. <laughs> wow. The vibrations from the Hyperloop sure made a mess. All right, back to 600. Shut up. Did the... The car just honk at me. I'm on the sidewalk. Fuck you. I'm looking. Okay, I'm looking for collectibles. Please. I'm gonna drive on the sidewalk. What are we in New York, dude? Hey, I'm walking here. That or Jersey? Yeah, we're actually just in the East Coast. Looking for collectibles here. I'm looking for dog bones and badges and, and dog coins. Not to be confused with Doge coins. Oh, I guess they're biscuits. You're right. Sorry, I got the lore wrong. By the way, whenever you hear, whenever you see a menu come up and you hear that chime over and over again, that's me mashing A to get through it.
You think this kid owns Dogecoin? Oh, baby Ray William Johnson? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, this is just a circle. Okay. All right, this is just... Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, that guy kind of walked through the fence there. That was weird. Yeah, the kid looks like Ray William Johnson. Did I miss one? I'm gonna go back. If I didn't miss one, you're banned. All right, you're banned. Fucking see you tomorrow. Throw him in jail. Time to zippy zip. Grappling hook. Yep. What? I know. Grappling hook. Once the hook. Man, how is Rubble gonna get up here? Guess he has to stay at the bottom. Yeet! Oh, hey, Rubble. <laughs> he fucking got here before I did. We got fucking biscuits all over the goddamn place here. This place is loaded. Oh, and a nice little badge. I think that's everything. Before we zip line across and we can't come back. Yes. Yes, okay, cool. Like, that was me mashing, trying to mash through that. <laughs> Miss Tweedums, thank you for the 23 months. Alright, a lot of shit to get over here. You spent three hours last night exploring Japan through Google Maps? I guess that is cheaper than going. Did you find Godzilla? I guess I can't get up there because there's no collectibles. All right. I think that's everything. Oh, we're here now. No explanation, huh? I guess we just zip line down the build. Okay, sure. Sure, man. <laughs> if you say so, game. Oh, we took the stairs this time. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. Alright, little off-screen uh, biscuits there. Are you questioning the validity of the Paw Patrol narrative? You know what? I am, and that's disrespectful. I'm, I'm very sorry. This is God-tier storytelling, and I should really question it. Oops. Great job, pups. Thanks, Ray. Cool transition noise. Rubble, are you okay? <laughs> okay. Rubble will figure it out. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Let me check the right. Come on, dickhead. 
All right, Rubble, you know what? Maybe you're upset that I'm not playing as you. I'll play as you now, Rubble. How did he come from the left? What? This motherfucker can teleport? Nothing personal, dog. It is kind of nice that your AI can actually grab some of the biscuits as well. <laughs> He's too OP to be kept alive. Sorry, Chase. I gotta put you down. Wesley Snipes image of him crying holding the gun. AKA the Tony Hawk meme as well. Appreciate the hesitation. I know we talked about that recently on stream, but what a good fucking tweet. Okay. I think we got everything, but I'm going to do a quick run back. I'm trying to be thorough, but I could miss one and then we'll have to replay the whole fucking level again, so I'm trying to avoid that. Mod check biscuits? Mod check? Yo, Jacob, what's going on, man? You didn't know the Paw Patrol had uh, teleportation technology? Yeah, yeah. They're like the Avengers, but better. They've, uh, they've had some upgrades since we played the second game. This third game, they are all cracked out. What's up, Wolf? Currently playing through uh, RE Revelations and the game's achievements are not good. Boy, they sure aren't. I keep thinking about going back to complete it and try to complete all the Resident Evil games. Um, but I don't know if I can for some of them. Revelations, the, um, the multiplayer game that came out with uh, Resident Evil 3. Don't know if I can fucking stomach that. Resistance, yeah. Reverse, whenever that comes out. Oh, hold on. That just... Give me one second. I have to message a light about something I just remembered. Yeah, dude. I was uh, a little bit of a spoiler. At the end of the month, um, the highlight was going to be Resident Evil 4. But since they announced the remake coming out next year, I'm just going to put out that highlight before the remake comes out. And I meant to te meant to message them about it like yesterday, but I forgot until right now. My favorite thing is whenever uh, we schedule something like that. So like when um, when Halo Infinite was coming out, we put out Cursed Halo. There's generally like one person in the comment that's like, oh my God, you put this out right before Halo. That was so smart. And I'm like, it sure was. I try to put it on the day it comes out if it works out or maybe like close to it. Because I feel like interest for said game or, or series uh, might be, uh, might tick upward. Oh, we got all the collectibles. TYBG. Oh, look at the dumpy on this bad boy. Did you see that? The bones were directly behind the sign. 
you literally can't get that unless you hit the thing intentionally. Hey, remember what I said about random spawns? Well, oh, there's no way to reset, by the way. So you have to play the whole level again. <laughs> Replayability. But anyway, yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to tell, uh, like, the highlight instead of Resident Evil 4. Uh, I kind of do want to replay Resident Evil 4, by the way. I have to complete it on the... I have to complete the 360 version, but also... There have been some Resident Evil 4 randomizers that have been, uh... That have been popping up on my YouTube, uh, recommended that I've been watching. And those are hilarious. If not also broken and... Hard. That may be something I want to try out in the future. I believe the randomizer randomizes enemies. Uh, what the what the merchant has and what you start with. Pokemon Stadium 2 highlights going to come out uh, when Scarlet and Violet come out or near it. When is, what's the release date for Scarlet and Violet? November 18th. Is November 18th a Friday? It sure is. It'll come out the day Scarlet and Violet comes out. All right, so we got fucking scammed there. That was cringe. Rubble, this is it. Use your wrecking ball to push the debris away from the door. Quick. Whoa. Am I going to really have to do this three more times? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. I got to replay this fucking level again. I hate my life. Rule of three. You're right. Awesome. Uh, fuck off, Ray William Johnson. Yoshi, thank you for a thousand bits. Omega, Great Otaku, job, Chrome Dome, thank Everyone you. Everyone is safe. We are, uh, as of right now, yes, we're going for the 100%. We're trying for it. But yeah, uh, we might be do another Resident Evil 4 playthrough in the future. Or maybe multiple. We'll see. We are going to start a bit... Uh, we're, we're, well, not now. It's too early. But we're going to do a bit war for um, the starter for Gen 9. Don't worry. Maybe I like the start of November. Or some shit. Nope. Still got to do this. Stinky water woes. Uh-oh. Someone's shit in the river. My plans for games this week uh tuesday hey, resident evil 5 wednesday i don't know yet uh thursday we have the Terrible summer games fest the friday the Our mario fight. soccer Chase. game saturday i'm Level. off and then sunday is Level. xbox Level. and bethesda's Level. events and then uh, uh my little pony and peppa pig for two million gamer score finally i'll have to do some work to set it up because we're at 1,985,490 so i need to get to uh 1,998,000 even. I messaged Shield to see if we can do uh, if what his schedule is looking like for next week. See if we play some games on Wednesday, but he hasn't responded yet. So we'll see. Wow. Oh, that's nice. The, the game uh, lets you know which next. which biscuits you've collected by making them blue. So now, chat, we have to run through this entire section again to get to the section where we missed the biscuits because we got fucking robbed. So it's going to be five minutes of this. Game design is my passion.
No, I haven't played a demo of Mario Strikers. In the micro, the, the micro, the Mario Strikers series, I probably only played for like two hours. So I barely know how to play the game. The only game I've really been playing outside of streams is Dead Rising 4. Because uh, I hate myself. But we're getting close. We're getting closer and closer to that completion. I got to message people in the, on the Discord. In the uh, Achievements and Trophy Discord. Or the, um, the boosting one. The boosting channel. To be like, all right. Which poor soul and or souls can I convince to do this with me? It's not for the faint of heart. Me. That's fair. The only, like, benefit I have to that is, like, hey, guys, the game is on Game Pass. So, you know, if you don't care about your gamer score and want to help, there's that. Zip line. Use this to point to the correct area. When did I break 1 million gamer score? Uh, September 15th, 2018? I believe. I'll tell you right now. I have it saved on my... Yes, 2015. I'm sorry, September 15th, 2018. That was a super hype day because that was a million gamer score, my birthday, and the launch of Framerate merch. And I got to play Shantae for 11 hours. And that's when, uh, you know, there weren't as many indie achievement bait games, so reaching a milestone was still exciting. Where I'm still excited for 2 million gamer score, but not as excited because there's so much, like, I don't know if inflation's the right word, but the gamer score economy is fucked. And I guess so is the, like, platinum trophy economy as well. It's all fucked. The regular economy is fucked, but more importantly, the gamer score economy is fucked. But two million is two million. I don't know how many people have broken two million. Quite a few, but it's still pretty cool. The Big Short 2, all about gamer score. I like The Big Short a lot. It's a fun movie. I've stopped really playing a lot of the, the baby games for the most part and been working on like longer completions and finishing out my backlog and trying to increase my completion percentage, but it's so hard to be like working all this time. All right, hold on, chat. Let's see if we get fucked again. Let me shut up here. I hit that on purpose just in case it was behind it. I'm like on edge again. In a fucking Paw Patrol game. I hate this. It was behind it! It was behind it again! I'm so lucky I hit that sign. Bro. Bro. Come on. Alright, we're good. 
What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? If I'm coming up on a sign in the middle and there's nothing on the sides, I'm just gonna slam right into the, the fucking sign. Jesus. Kids game? Oh, we gotta do this shit again. Great. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I've stopped playing a lot of the easier games for easy gamer score. Um, because, you know, I like to play a real game every now and then. But it is hard because I've been working on Dead Rising 4, this completion for like, I don't know, probably like 70 hours at this point to try to get all the achievements. And the game maxes out at like 2,300 gamer score some shit if you count all the DLC. And I can get like 2,000 gamer score in like 10 minutes with some of these games. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Hey man, this is more of a real game than some of the indie trash that comes out. At least you actually have to like play this game, you know? Some games you play like a, a third of the game, if that, maybe less, and get a thousand gamer score. The mini golf DLC in Dead Rising 4 was unironically very, very fun. <laughs> You never played a Dead Rising game before? Oh, they're so good. I would love to play Dead Rising again in uh, in co-op. Specifically Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 1, 2, and Off the Record are, are very, very good. After that, it gets a little shaky. I still think 3 is okay. 4 is not at all. It has its fun moments, but it is easily the worst one. Easily. Sammy, thank you for the 13 months. G Burks, thank you for the 10. Otaku, thank you for the 25. Appreciate it. Oh. Uh oh. Stinky. Looks like the filter at the water treatment plant broke and is pumping waste right into the river. Zuma, we need your help to find the parts for the filter. Like the gem game? Or not the gem game, but like the frog in the middle game? Once you have all the parts, it'll be your job to fix the filter. Paw Patrol is on a roll! Yeah, chat, do you think a Lego man has fallen into this river? <laughs> you just go back and do Case West? Case West is pretty good. Case West and Case Zero, too. Case Zero was so good back in the day, it got me so excited for Dead Rising 2. Case West is a little more involved because you need a co-op buddy. 800 bones? We have to hurry. What the fuck? Looks like a stinky toxic cloud is spreading through the park. Yeah, those are the ones that are just 200 gamer score because they're Xbox Live Arcade games. But uh, they're fun, man. Also, Case West is the only, uh, the only game where I think Frank West and, uh, Chuck Green are in it as, as, um, like co-op partners. They, they're kind of in it and off the record, but that's a little different. Throwback Thursday to Summer of Arcade events. God, Summer of Arcade was so good. Way to go. But yeah, if you're thinking about playing the Dead Rising games, play the uh, play the original ones. One, two, and Off the Record. Off the Record is essentially just a what if uh, scenario of Dead Rising Two, where you play as Frank West, who's the protagonist of one, instead of Chuck Green, who's the protagonist of two. But it still holds up. They might be a little difficult at first because you're obviously under-leveled and you don't know where everything is and the timer might stress you out. But they are very, very good games.
I said this before, but Saints Row is getting rebooted, so maybe Dead Rising will get rebooted in the future. Can you imagine a Dead Rising game with, like, the graphics engine of, like, Resident Evil 8 or some shit? That'd be sick. Then again, Dead Rising's never really been about the graphics. Also, uh, maybe don't go for the completion in Dead Rising, in those Dead Rising games. Specifically, one. They are, uh... Awesome they're job. pretty cringe. It's a pretty cringe achievement list. Oh, we gotta go this way, okay. I think. Yeah. What do you mean, bringing that old man to the safe room is great, Dead Rising 1? Oh my god, dude. The survivor AI in Dead Rising 1 makes me want to fucking throw hands. The War Survivors in Dead Rising 1 is, well, first of all, it's all of them. But specifically, it's the characters that are, like, limping, and you have to hold them on your back. Whatever fucking sadist, or to be masochist in this, maybe it's sadist, I forgot which is which, put a little jump up to the vent, and Dead Rising 1 should be shot out of a fucking cannon into the sun. You will be standing there with some survivors. God forbid you have more than, like, three or two. And they'll just stand around. And you're at the mercy of the survivor AI. And of course, you're also on a timer. So you're just like, please! And then sometimes they do it, but most of the time they don't. It was status, okay. Listen, if you've played the game, Great work. you know what I'm talking about. That being said, I know I'm talking negative about the game. Uh, the game is fucking great. It's great, it's silly, it's dumb. I love it. But it's not perfect. It's not perfect. What the fuck is this? Oh, there's bones down here too? Okay. You put an underwater section in this with bones I can miss? Fucking why, though? Oh, this is ass. Well, I guess as long as I don't pick up the... Whatever the hell those things are. Uh, we're good. Short person does hard. Thank you for the four years. Oh, it's reversed this time. Sneaky. That goes, that went so high. All cake, no lie. Thank you for the prime sub. <coughs> okay. Oh, it bothers you that, like, the fraction is backwards? Yeah. Same. That's just Paw Patrol, baby. Sizzle, thank you for the 11 months. All right, cool. Nice. 
What's up, soup? Sizzle, thank you for the 11. All cake, no lie. Thank you for the 22. It'll do. Thank you for the 13 months. Do you manage 100% any of the Dead Rising games? Yes, I have all of them completed except four. That's why I'm working on four now. Ooh. I got the gold bone there, right, chat? Look at all the garbage. I was looking at chat. That's my fault. Like this. Ronky, use your claw to clear the garbage I think I did. I think it was just for getting all the bones, so... But yeah, I have all the uh, Dead Rising games completed at least once. Some of them twice. So like Dead Rising 2, for example, I've done on 360 and Xbox One. But there's also like a, uh, a Games for Windows version that I'll probably never do. But I'm content with that. I have Dead Rising 1, 2, and Off the Record done twice. Because I really did enjoy those games. But Games for Windows is like hella scuffed. Oh, hey, Mario and Luigi. And I don't know if I want to do it on Windows 10. I'm sorry, on uh, Games for Windows. If they came out on Windows 10, I'd probably do them a third time. But Games for Windows is hella scuffed. What was the worst completion of the ones I'm doing? It, probably Dead Rising 4. You are doing but great. besides that, uh, Dead Rising 1. I mean, Seven Day Survivor is awful. But there's also the one where you have to make sure you take all of Otis's calls, where if you miss one, you got to reset the whole game. Uh, talking about survivors earlier, you got to save all the survivors, and sometimes they just don't want to fucking cooperate. I haven't played Genesis Noir, but I heard it's actually not too bad. Oh, look at this sneaky one over here. What makes Dead Rising 4 so bad, besides the fact that it's Dead Rising 4, is there is a lot of multiplayer you need to do. And it's like co-op, which you think would be cool, but it's not like... It's not co-op through the main story. It's like co-op through like this random story where you play as random characters. And I think, according to the guide I've been looking through, it's going to take like around 15 to 20 hours to get all the multiplayer achievements. So that's great. It's just a long completion. The longest by far. I think if you start fresh, the completion for Dead Rising 4 is over 100 hours. At this point with all the DLCs and whatnot. When I finish it, oh, hopefully when I finish it, um, it'll probably be the length of like a long Yakuza game completion. Like we're look, we're talking like zero or five. Zero is no big deal. Like Yakuza zero because that game was great. Yakuza five, on the other hand, was not. So. uh... It's more Yakuza 5 than Yakuza 0. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's the first day of winter. Great work. Yakuza 5, a.k.a. You like baseball? Dude, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you so much. At least the Mahjong completion of 5 was easy. Yeah, sure. One of the best parts of 5. I'm pretty far into completing 0. Oh, nice. I started Yakuza games. Are the rest of the games like 0 for length? No, the closest one to the story length and the completion length is 5. Which makes sense, because Zero came right after Five. The rest are shorter. I guess, uh... I guess maybe Yakuza Like a Dragon is also kind of long. Way to go! Oh, do I need to go this way to the right? I'm very confused. Easiest Yakuza game to complete is Six. 
I need to go this way, so I need to go to the right first. Six, if you know what you're doing, you can knock, you could finish in 30 hours. Like, I think my completion of six was like 35-ish hours. Which, let me tell you, was so nice to get to do a 30-hour completion after spending 150 hours on Yakuza 5. Can't bring myself to do Yakuza 5. I don't blame you. It is a fucking slog, and most of it is not fun. Like a Dragon is great. You just have to do a lot of grinding for, like, the end game boss. Also, oh my god, hated Pachinko, that's fair. When I get around to redoing uh, Yakuza 5 on Windows 10, the uh, there's no Pachinko achievement. They got pulled from the PC version of the game. I think it has something to do with like gambling laws changing or something, so... That's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about Pachinko in 4 or 5. Even though in 4 it wasn't too bad, in 4 I think you use a cheat item. Or maybe 5 used a cheat item, but 5 was... I remember 5 being annoying. Either way, it wasn't too bad in 4. Should go back and finish Yakuza 0, but I refuse to play Mah learn how to play Mahjong. That's fair. It took me probably like 6 or 7 hours to get the Mahjong stuff done in Yakuza 0. That, in that includes me learning how to play it and then getting lucky to uh, finish it. I feel like I'm missing one somewhere, which is concerning. We'll see. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, thank God. Oh, here we go. Yuck. That smells terrible. Zuma, sorry, buddy. You're going to have to dive in and find the parts of the filter so we can fix it. Oh, I thought there was 800 here again. Okay, no, it's only 150. All right, let's do it again. This water is so stinky. Oh, you can hit A to kind of go a little bit faster. I didn't know that. I still can't get the rhythm for Oatmeal and Kwame 1, so I haven't tried to complete it. I'm not even going to try this. Oh, my God. Fucking Yakuza 3. Yakuza 3 might be... the hardest... completion of all the Yakuza games. Getting the minigame master is a real test of fucking patience. Also, you know... Yakuza 3 combat isn't exactly the greatest thing, but... It's bad. Darts, pool, all of the weird physics, having to beat the AI in, like, the hardest difficulty. So many hours wasted of my life. But I did it. And I get to do it again when I do it on Windows 10. You gave up the completion for 3, 4, and 5 for your mental health. I don't remember 4 being that bad, but 3 and 5... 3 for its difficulty and 5 for its length. Let's go!
I'm so glad Yaxa 3 didn't have a 100% completion list. Yes. The game did show some mercy there. All right. You found all the pieces. Now we can fix the filter. No, fuck. Please. What's the worst Yaxa game? F oh, this is the same mini game. <laughs> In the mainline series, to me, it's uh, Yakuza 5 is the worst one. If we're going overall, though, from what I played, it's Dead Souls. Dead Souls is bad just because it runs like absolute shit. If they, like... Fix that. Way to go, it's probably better. The filter is fixed and the stink is gone. We're all yeah, going to the do climax spells for threes weren't that bad, but oh my god, the chase is in three. That's right. That's, that's when they introduced the chase mechanic and it was like so bad because they were figuring it out. The chase uh, climax battle, you have to get um catch Mac. I couldn't fucking do it. I couldn't do it. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. All right, so far so good. We're on level six of eight. All these levels have been done perfectly so far. Only had to replay one so far. Ooh, the case of Chase. Shark, thank you for the 55. Duji again, thank you for the 30. Oh, nice, dude. T and I have uh, been listening to some Heart Attack, man. Yo, A, thank you for the 62. Liberty, rubble. Who the fuck cares, Ray William Johnson? Shut up. I love the chase in seven because you're like, oh shit, here we go again. You never have to do it again. I know, thank God. They pull a sneaky on you. You know what else is really bad? The fucking stalking sections and like judgment, lost judgment. Like, all the detective stuff in Judgment and Lost Judgment, I do not here. like, but it has Liberty. to be in there for obvious Can reasons. Any clues? <laughs> Shago, yeah, that's pretty much... That's pretty much it. Kaido sniffing was funny. The Kaido ones were funny, because he was just using his fucking senses. The, like, feral sniffing was good. I will give you that. But besides that, I think those games are fantastic. I love those games. I'm very happy they came to Xbox. I'm very happy all the Yakuza games, all the mainline ones anyway, came to Xbox. I hope we get the Samurai games. I hope we get, uh, well, I kind of, kind of don't hope we get Fist of the North Star as well. Just so I could play it, or gives me a reason to play it. Even though I've been warned many times not to play it. But if it comes out on Xbox, I have to play it legally. Who is that? Wink gifting a sub. Thank you, Wink. If Dead Souls came out to Xbox, I'd absolutely play it again. And hopefully the fucking cutscenes won't be copyrighted this time. Liberty. Chase went down this alley. Rubble, it's time to work your magic. Thrill. Dead Souls Kawami went, I know, right? What's up, Ricky? You got Dead Souls for Christmas? I, I really... I truly think I don't know how Dead Souls emulates actually. I don't know if like maybe an RCPS3 
it runs better. Uh, but if that game just had a consistent frame rate, like even 30 consistent, it would be much better and way more enjoyable. But it's all over the place, and sometimes it feels like it's borderline unplayable. But yeah, if it ever gets ported or remade or some shit, I think it could be a fun game. It's another game we play as Majima. And you actually play as Ryuji as well, with his fucking Gatlin robot arm for whatever reason. I think we got everything over there. All of Light's edits of you shitting on Yakuza are funny. They are. He asked me, he's like, hey, should, can I leave this in? I'm like, oh yeah, it's funny. No, absolutely. But yeah, if you're looking for Yakuza games where you play as Majima, there's not many. There's the masterpiece, Yakuza 0. There's like a very little small segment in Kwame 2 that's like an hour if you stretch it out. And then there's Dead Souls. And uh, that's it from official Yakuza games anyway. And then he's in those weird like Sega collab strategy games or some shit on like the DS or the Nintendo handhelds that I always forget what the name of are. It's like a Sega and Capcom crossover thing. It's like Project something. Project X Zone. There you go. And now, unfortunately, as the games go on, lore-wise, he's showing up less and less. Almost missed that coin. He's showing up less and less, and he's getting older. <laughs> so, you know, getting a little concerning. Oh, yeah, I guess he's kind of going to be in Rainbow Six. Whatever that is. It's just like a skin, though. But, uh, what an iconic character. I wonder if RGG Online is actually fun. Oh, not this shit again. RGG Online is the card game, right? Yep, it was behind it again. You might be able to actually make it if you zip left and then zip right immediately. But that is too close for comfort. Just slam into the sign. Okay. I God, I wish they were all this easy. Oh, God. Just stay down the middle of the road. That'd make me so happy. You didn't. Okay, we're good. I'm sorry, but I unironically have to focus on that section. All right, we're good. Is Lost Judgment worth playing? Good yes, job, absolutely. Bubble. Lost Wait Judgment is really good. I would recommend playing the first Judgment because it kind of continues. But uh, yes, Lost Judgment is very good. It is very, very good. And it even has DLC for the first time in... Like, proper DLC for the first time in Yox again. The DLC is, is overpriced, I'd say. I think it's a little too much money, but the uh, side story is very good. Lost Judgment might be also the last game where we see Yagami. Lamal idol contracts. Way to go. I 
Honestly, if they do transition to... Uh... Oh my god, I forgot his fucking name all of a sudden. Kaito? As the main character? I'd be down for that, but who knows? Who knows, man? We'll have to see. We probably won't see for a while since the next one is a um, an Ichiban game. Give Yagami plastic surgery. <laughs> I hope at the very least, if we don't get another like judgment game with Yagami. The trail leads here. Liberty. Okay. Um, that those games show up on PC. Cause both uh Judgment and Lost Judgment are not on PC. But hey, Lost Judgment's on fucking Stadia. So there's that, I guess. What's the typical stream start time? Uh, between 2 and 3 p.m. Uh, 2 and 3 p.m. Central. Alright, the camera didn't move there. That was weird. Guess I didn't get close enough. Hey, kid. Awesome. Is Stadia still a meme platform? Absolutely. It's probably up there with Amazon Luna. AKA Miles' brother. For the next Yakuza game, would you like to be a brawler style again? Or turn-based. Uh, oh, hey, we got this awkward staring shit again. Uh, okay. I prefer the brawling style to the RPG style, but uh, I think Yakuza games going forward are RPGs, and Judgment's going to be the brawling series, from what they've said. But I didn't mind the JRPG elements of Like a Dragon. They were pretty simple um, that a smooth brain like me who doesn't really play RPGs can figure out and get far in. But if I had to choose one, I would prefer the brawler style. All right, Brave Bridge Rescue. Yeah, Amazon Luna's been around for a while. I'm not sure if it's like a physical console or just an online streaming service. I have not seen anything on it. Thanks for rushing over. Paw Patrol is on a roll. Uh, shit, I'm not really into RPGs unless it's like, <laughs> unless it's Pokemon or Yakuza. There's very few other exceptions, but those are the main ones I play. I, I stay away from RPGs. You've never heard of Amazon Luna? <laughs> Dude, their advertising is grade A. Played what? Elden Ring that one time. That's true. Traffic jam? You'll have to continue on paw. Quick. Some action RPGs are uh, I fuck with, and I mean a lot of games these days have RPG elements, but like pure JRPGs, I don't really play too often. The next one I'll probably play is uh, I might actually sit down and play through Dragon Quest on Xbox because I really enjoyed what I played of the Switch, but. It's just another long game, and I have already a crazy backlog. And I've been trying to work toward 2 million for a long time. Once I hit 2 million, though, I'll probably slow up. I usually try to go for, like, 20,000 gamer score a month minimum. Uh, but after I hit 2 million, that'll probably slow down uh, a lot, and I'll work on longer games I've been meaning to play. Add the card to your collection. 
It's almost kind of in the same vein like Ray Cox. When he reached 2 million gamer score, he like retired um, from being number one in the world and now kind of plays whatever. It's kind of similar in that vein. Like, I'm still going to go for achievements because I love going for them, but I'm not going to always play like, you know, the, the, the shit that comes out. Like before, I would play it like ASAP as soon as it comes out, I came out. But now I kind of just, you know, I have to be in a mood to play them. Because while yes, getting gamer score is great, boy, it really takes a toll playing shitty game after shitty game. Like even this game, Paw Patrol has a certain charm to it because it reminds me of the 360 days when an easy game would be a, um, a video game based on a movie. Because there was a lot of that back then. Wally, -E, Up, Kung Fu Panda, shit like that. And some of those games were actually pretty good. Uh, Surf's Up was a lot of fun, and Kung Fu Panda had no right being as fun as it was. But a lot of them were shit. But, you know, at least those are like four to five hours and you start to play the game. Now, not so much. But Paw Patrol kind of reminds me of those days. But yeah, I think I'm going to stop playing. Uh the indie trash and, and play and you know take my time and enjoy longer games for better maybe like Dragon Quest or for worse Dead Rising 4 <laughs> I could start getting platinum trophies I did think about unironically starting to get platinum trophies like starting a fresh account that I only get like platinum trophies that I really want to get Games like uh, the Ratchet and Clank games or like um, uh, Uncharted, for example. I'd love to get Platinums in that. Oh, there's phones over here. Achievement Hunter is a young man sport. Achievement hunting these days and Platinum Trophy is all about just like money at this point. If you have the money to waste on the all the, all the shit that comes out, you can get a lot of gamer score and a lot of Platinums very easily with no skill involved. I don't think I would do the whole Yakuza series again. I did it once on Xbox. I'm doing it again on, on PC. I don't think I could do it again on, on PlayStation. That is a lot. Yeah, like more challenging completions for sure. I would like to get... Okay, the top is blocking some of the screen? Are you kidding me? Thankfully, at least the recycling is bigger. But yeah, I'd like to get more meaningful uh, completions going forward. I'd like to increase my TA, my TA score more than my gamer score. If that makes any sense. For people who use TA, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm sure on occasion I'll get in a mood and I'll, I'll play like, I'll rattle off like 10 fucking easy games, but... I want to work on harder completions. Hey, at least this was easy, even though it was blocked. Oh, I need at least 15. Okay, there's more. Oh, but it doesn't register. Okay. Anyway. I played Prey, like the 360 Prey on stream. I've never played the the newer one that came out. That's what I've been meaning to, to play on stream. The problem was, was was when Prey came out, I was on vacation with Tina, and I forgot where we went. It might have been Disney. And while we were waiting in lines, me and all of my fucking brilliance, I watched a lot of streamers play Prey because I was excited to check it out. So by the time I came back, I'm like, oh, I've seen most of this game already. I don't want to play it. But it's been long enough that I've forgotten pretty much everything, so... I, like, couldn't wait. Like, I'm really bad about, like, waiting sometimes. And I'm like, fuck, I got nothing to do. I might as well watch this. But, yeah, it's been long enough now that I don't remember anything about the game. The only thing I remember is uh, the spooky monsters that can turn into random objects. And, like, the goo gun. And that's about it. I did that with Breath of the Wild. One of these days, I'd like to try Breath of the Wild on stream. Not a full playthrough, but, like, maybe check it out for a stream. 
But I think if I'm gonna play it, I'd probably do it via emulator. I don't think I could play it on the, the Switch. I try to avoid the Switch as much as possible. You could rush the castle in Breath of the Wild, yeah, and get it absolutely eviscerated. When will the Switch have achievements? Probably never, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? Never say never. I guess maybe one day, right? I mean, there's Retro Achievements, which is a really cool website that I should... That I should actually, you know, fuck with more. But I, I haven't. Yeah, if I ever do play Breath of the Wild, it'll, it'll be emulated, and it will probably it'll be at least sub only mode, maybe emote only mode. Oh god, I thought we missed one. Okay, Jesus, thought we missed one. We're good. We're good. Oh, we got a fucking Zuma. Time to go into stinky water again. Oh no! Control panel are Our table! Trucking magnet, thank you for the five gifted the subs. First five gifted Zuma, subs on the channel. You need to thank you so much. The and the, a sub of your own, I appreciate it. Gigante Evil Crash. What is my Pawsona? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, J Pongs. Flesh Golem. Curse Lake. Thank you guys. Thank you. But yeah, anytime I've watched Point Crow, a Point Crow video about Breath of the Wild, he's playing an emulated version, and it looks like it looks like it runs so smoothly. And it just looks like a game where I don't have to pay attention to the story at all. I can just rummage around and have fun for a few hours. Though I think the Breath of the Wild emulated version people play is the Wii U one. But, I don't know. I'm just not really into 3D Zelda games. I kind of fuck with the 2D ones, but... I don't know, something about the 3D ones just don't really appeal to me. Like, the last 3D Zelda game I played to completion... ...was, uh... Ocarina of Time when I was younger? Like, I tried Wind Waker, but I wasn't about it. Didn't really do it for me. I'm trying to think of other ones I've played. That were 3D. I tried Twilight Princess when it came out on the Wii years ago. Didn't do it. Didn't play Skyward Sword. I don't know what it is, man. All right, we're good. Well, Skyward Sword is bad. That's, you know what? I hear that more often than not. Nuke, thank you for the 37 months. I do want to I, I do want to check out Zelda Seasons and Ages. And I, I would like to try Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask again. It's been years, I mean, since I played it. I was a fucking child. Me and my cousin played, uh... I played Ocarina of Time on my own with a strategy guide, but Majora's Mask I played with my cousin. That was fun. But if I played them, I'd probably play the 3DS versions. I don't think we finished Majora's Mask, but I distinctly have this memory... Of being in like, you're such good pops. I forgot what grade I was in elementary school, I believe, talking about Majora's Mask with some kids and like the um, oh god, what's the name of the final mask you get? Where you turn into a fucking Chad, like the fierce deity mask or some shit. I remember talking about that with kids because I didn't see it because I didn't get that far, and they were telling me about it, and I'm like, oh, that sounds fucking dope. Yeah, the other Giga Chad mask.
My parents didn't buy me the RAM upgrade for N64, so I couldn't play Majora's Mask. Did Majora's Mask need the RAM upgrade? I know, like, Donkey Kong needed it, Perfect Dark needed it for most of its features, but did it? I didn't know that. That sucks. Yeah, so for those who don't know, uh, back in my day, because I'm 140 years old, you may not even know what I'm talking about, but Nintendo 64 had an expansion pack. It was like this little black box with a red top on it. Let me see if I can find it for you if you have no idea what I'm talking about. And there were some games that required it. Hold on, let me pull up this picture for you. There was a game that did was was uh, Donkey Kong the game that had it packed in? This is it, by the way. Yeah, I think it had a. I think that's how I got it. It it was packed in because you needed it to play. And there were some games that just would not play without it. They'd be like, "Hey, fuck you." It was literally buying more RAM. The original Perfect Dark needed it as well. Without it, you could only play like 25% of the game. It was so crazy. It's so crazy to think about that you would buy a system and there would be games that came out that you couldn't play on it. It's such a bizarre thing to think about. God. Fucking crazy. Crazy. Also, I mean, the controllers back then didn't have rumble, so you needed the rumble pack. And I think Star Fox 64 either came with it or was like the first game to really feature it, but fucking mind-blowing. Mind-blowing back in the day. Also, you needed a... Uh, some games needed a memory pack that you, you jam... This... You, you jam the rumble pack in the back of the N64 controller and, like, the memory thing as well. Holy shit. Oh, and then the thing that Pokemon Stadium gave you? Holy shit. Well, you plug in the back of your controller and you could put fucking Game Boy games in it? That was wild. That was fucking crazy. Nintendo 64 was a wild console. Yeah, the transfer pack. Pups, God damn. Watch out for the wind. Holy shit. I am nostalgic for the N64. The controller was a war crime, but besides that, it was had some slappers on there. I wonder if we'll ever get an N64 mini. Marshall's dual action. You could play the uh Game Boy uh, Pokemon games on Pokemon Stadium. They also had the um, the feature, which was nice if you're playing them on Pokemon Stadium, where you could fast forward the game. It was so nice. It was almost like you were emulating the game. I think the speed up symbol was like a Duo or a Dodrio. Great times, man. Great times. Checking something, sorry. We do have N64 online, that's true. And they are updating it pretty frequently with some good games. Better than the SNES and NES ones, that's for sure. But I mean, the emulation have been uh, questionable. Hey, you Pikachu was the bane of my existence because Pikachu couldn't understand my speech impediment and would just throw tissues. <laughs> what a sentence. What a sentence. That's, that's got to be a brand new sentence. That sounds like a Mad Lib. Boy, Hey, You Pikachu was certainly a game. Came with the little mic that was awful. I will say something I've always wanted was the, uh, the Hey You Pikachu N64. I always thought that shit looked so cute. 
They had it in blue and orange, I think. I think orange was maybe Japan only. Those consoles were fucking rad. Orange was Japan. All right, I'm going to assume we got everything. I've kind of been zoning out because we've been talking about N64. I wonder if there's a way to make the Hey You Pikachu mic work on PC. We need a... Oh my god, what's the streamer's name? Rudism? I believe that's their channel name. Make their weird uh, contraptions. Can they make a Hey You Pikachu mic work on PC and do a stream with it? Found a Hey You Pikachu console on eBay for only five for only five hundred and forty dollars. Shit. Is that like complete in box? Nostalgia is a hell of a drug, dude. I never got my Pokemon Snap picks uh, printed out. I remember seeing the machines in, uh, it was like Blockbuster, right? I was never that into Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Snap. Did I say Stadium? Pokemon Snap. I liked the game, you know, I beat it. And then I was pretty much done with it. Even as a wee lad, I wasn't really into many of the Pokemon uh, side games. Oh, Hollywood Video had a better selection of games in general. I agree. I loved Hollywood Video, but Blockbuster just absorbed them. Pokemon Puzzle League is pretty good, but that was just Tetris Attack with a Pokemon skin, to be fair. Oh, I had a Game Crazy near me as well. I didn't go to Game Crazy too often, but where, where I used to live in Long Island, there was a Hollywood video and a Game Crazy back, like, right next to each other. It was great. Or maybe not, like, right next to each other, like, in the same plaza. They were close. Oh, shit. Here we go. Got to focus. Boo -doo -doo -doo. The fucking car drifting noise is so funny to me. Two lanes over. Fucking why? Can we stop? Oh, boy. Hit that to slow me down a little bit. Okay. Hit that just in case. Okay. Okay, hit this to slow me down. I hate that I'm developing strategy for a fucking Paw Patrol game. Fucking loser. Anyway, yeah, Game Crazy was pretty cool. I didn't go there too often. I mainly stuck with, like, GameStop and uh, EB Games and shit. Fire truck, water but yeah, man, N64 was great. I love the N64. Back then, I didn't know any better either, and I loved Pokemon Stadium. But now, as an adult, I know it's uh, a crime against humanity. Though that Pokemon ROM hack, Pokemon Stadium ROM hack we were looking into could be really, really fun to play through. I'm actually excited to check that out. Very careful. I might have to fuck with it a little bit to see if it, like, you know, runs well or anything like that, but it seems fun. The end of that stream where we were looking up uh, Pokemon ROM hacks and fan games to play was really fun. 
I know it was only like an hour, hour and a half after the Gungeon part, but it was fun. We learned of a couple of new ones too, which is good. Oh, 201 is such a random number. I hope I didn't fucking miss one. There is a DBZ Pokemon ROM. DBZ Pokemon ROM. There's also a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon ROM. Those are basically just Fire Red with... Uh, I don't think that thing was attached to anything in the back. It's reskin Fire Red or Leaf Green, but like all the sprites are changed. I don't think they change anything else. But I could be wrong. Pokemon Battle Revolution, though. There's, like, nothing for Pokemon Battle Revolution. That game came out, and not many people care about it, unfortunately. You can't even really do a rental randomizer. Never heard of it. It's the Pokemon Stadium game on, uh... Well, kind of the Pokemon Stadium game on the Nintendo Wii. Chat, some of the ROM hacks are wild. Oh, you're not wrong. Especially some of the older ones. Dude, people are recommending shit from, like, the fucking Victorian era. You want to play this Pokemon ROM? Fucking fire hasn't been invented yet. That's how old some of these were. We got to read the synopsis of like a super cringe edgy one. That was fun. Pokemon Outlaw, I think it was. Fucking yikes. No, it was probably the precursor to Pokemon Whack. If the guy who worked on Pokemon Outlaw worked on Pokemon Whack, I would not be surprised. It was so bad to read. Fire truck, water you know, we're missing 99 fucking biscuits, and I hope I didn't miss a whole section. Okay, no, we're good. There's so more shit to get, thank god. But yeah, we learned about Crystal Clear, Pokemon Row. Uh, there's another cool one we learned about. I don't have my list open right now. Oh, Pokemon Prism was one of them as well. That looked pretty cool. But yeah, Crystal Clear is the next one, because apparently I'm all in on Pokemon Crystal, apparently. Okay, Silent Bark. Let me pull it up here, hold on. My little Discord. Um. Oh, the, the Pokemon Stadium one is called uh, Pokemon... Uh, Cross Stadium. Oh, Pokemon Vega was another one. Neo X and Y was another one that looked interesting. So yeah, we got plenty to play. We still got plenty to play. J-Ball, thank you for the 18 months. Inclement Emerald is one I want. Renegade Platinum as well. I think something like Renegade Platinum is probably the peak of, like, challenging... Maybe Radical Red. Of how hard 
like the hardest ROMs I want to play. Like anything Kaiser related, I'm I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Or like Renegade Platinum Radical Red, yeah, maybe. Look like they could be fun. They'll be challenging, but they look like they could be fun. I have no interest in like. Uh, Oh, we got all of them, thank god. I have no interest in, like, nuzlocking them. If I nuzlock a Pokemon game, it'd probably just be a vanilla game. But... Awesome. Look! There's Mayor Humdinger! Oh, there he is! Pups, we've got work to do! Maul him! Patrol is on a roll. They just kill him. Kaizo Twitch Lock. Yeah, this is my uh, Kaizo bankrupt speedrun. Hey, we only had to replay one level. That's not too bad. All, all because we got fucked in that minigame. What shirt am I wearing? I'm wearing my Toucan one that Maddie got for me as a gift. All right, now we got some mini games to do, I believe. At the end of the game, we have, so, oh my god, 8,250 out of 30,000. So that's the main story, and now it's just, yeah, mini game stuff. All right, main story in about two hours, not bad. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Let's get to it. Uh, I guess I do time trials. Vehicles. We have to do it for every single fucking dog. And then there's three levels. I hate my life. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's fucking go, chap. Lord Carrick, J-Ball. Oh, I got J-Ball. Thank you, Lord Carrick. Let's be on YouTube. Boy, it sure will. This is a children's game. Boy, it sure is. All right. The fuck was that voice? It's more of these, but hey, at least if I fuck this up, I could restart... Um... Immediately now, I don't have to play a whole level beforehand. Enjoy the open road, chat. We are going on a long ass drive with many of these vehicles. Do I need more billion bones? I fucking wish I did. The person in chat that asked, I meant to answer this earlier, sorry. Uh, as far as the Legend of Zelda series, uh, it's all right. I don't really play most of the games, but it like doesn't offend me or anything. Iconic series, I'm just not into most of them. My favorite Legend of Zelda experience is when we played uh, the CDI games, um, the, the, PC, the PC versions of those that fix it. <laughs> the bread. We never found out what the fucking bread. <laughs> we never found what the bread did until the end. I was using it so wrong, and it's just used to distract enemies. That um, that stream is up on YouTube. It's both games because they were pretty short. Is it gonna take me back here every time? Oh, that sucks. Uh, I highly recommend it if you haven't watched it. It's very fun. Very fun. Very funny. Oh god, the game doesn't fucking keep track either. Oh god. All right. Well. Let's just go down the list and hopefully we don't miss one chat.
Fucking $40 game, by the way. One of the best streams in YouTube VODs. Yeah, it was it was certainly a fucking trip. Uh, I'm mainly interested in 2D Zelda games whenever I do play them. It's very rare. Oh, Minish Cap was good. I enjoyed Minish Cap. Such an interesting, weird game. A Zelda game made by fucking Capcom. One I really want to try is uh, Link Between Worlds. I hear good things about that one. Also, shout out to Tina for uh, saying this to me about Legend of Zelda. It might have been said before. I don't know if she came up with it or it was a tweet or whatever. But she said the, um, the, the Triforce... The Triforce tattoo is a tramp stamp for gamers. Which I thought was pretty funny. Made me, uh, made me keck W when she said that. That reminds me of an infamous tweet from many years ago. I don't remember the account that posted it, but they said, uh, Mr. Brightside is Despacito for white people. That was funny. That was really funny. That was a good tweet. And then another tweet about Legend of Zelda. I forgot how the caption goes, but it's essentially that green Legend of Zelda shirt with a yellow Triforce on it and like khaki cargo shorts. Something about like gamer attire or some shit. And I'm like, you right. Okay, now it takes me back to the main menu? What the fuck is this game? Anyway. Alright, Marshall level three. Why are you attacking me like this? I mean, listen, there's stereotypes for a reason, right? I'm wearing that shirt right now, I feel so attacked. Alright, so these vehicle levels are essentially just this, but it goes from 200 biscuits to 300. Great. Up! Oh! Going too fast. This is gameplay, baby. This is gaming in 2022. We have, why are these called time trials? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like there's going to be ones that are absolutely time trials, but fucking who knows, man? Who knows? I don't ask questions when it comes to Paw Patrol games. I just accept... I just accept my decision at, whoops, to uh, play him. Third one, by the way. How many dogs are in the Paw Patrol? Eight? Oh, God. Oh, good lord. Good fucking lord. Yeah, I'm not a Resident Evil guy at all. Hate Resident Evil. Uh, but Paw Patrol? That's my jam. Man, I watched a um, video on YouTube that went over the whole story of Resident Evil. This is before Resident Evil uh, 8 came out, so it's a little dated at this point. But it was like a two-hour video. And there is a lot of Resident Evil content I didn't know about. Do you guys know there are stage plays for Resident Evil? Like, three of them? <laughs> I didn't know that. There's also, like, mangas. Um, 
It actually showed me cutscenes from like the on rails games too, which was pretty cool. Uh, it, it also showed the movies, the animated movies that I knew. Um, let me see if I could pull up the video quickly. It was great background noise. And uh, it is a clusterfuck, don't get me wrong, but it actually is kind of more concise than I thought, honestly. Um, oh, there's multiple of these. Fuck. Is this the one I watch? Yes, I think this is the one I watch. Some of the voiceovers can get a little, like, a little much. You're like, okay. But it was great. Very, very good background noise. All right, it's chase time. Oh, the wife's texting me. All right, let's go, Chase. Let's go! Psycho, thank you for the seven months. Spark Planet, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, Spark Planet, yeah, it's pretty much how you do the... Uh, that's how you do the uh, seven-day Survivor. Seven-day Survivor isn't actually hard. It's just time-consuming. You just sit still for way too long. It sucks. Thank you for 22 months, though. Okay, see, like, this has a timer. Okay. Also, there's no way this dog can afford this car and a cop's salary. He's a dirty cop. He is a dirty cop. He is taking bribes. But yeah, that channel I linked also has a... Uh, a uh, Silent Hill storyline as well. Which I might check out as well. Still gotta play those games at some point. I love watching like video game lore videos. Because I don't pay attention to the story or I forget because I'm an idiot or I just don't follow. But hearing them explain pretty concisely is nice. Hi, babe. How are you? Also, hey, Biles. What's going on? I don't think I said hi. Okay, so this one needs the bones and the time limit. Cool. Oh, I've seen a couple of, of what happens from Matt McMuscles. I watched the one on Dead Rising 4 while playing Dead Rising 4. How's the patrol going? Oh, it's going well. We're in the thick of it. Oh, chat. We're a third of the way there, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Tina, it's going possum. You're right, Kevin. Fuck, I'm dumb. Is there a game or story? Is there a game whose story or lore you wish you could follow? Uh, not off the top of my head. Generally, if I have any questions about it, I could just look it up online and someone way smarter than me has put it all together. Or they've taken the time to go through, like, you know, in something like a Souls game, they've gone through, like, all of the item descriptions and, and like, load screens and shit. That way, if I, I want to know what's going on, I could just watch that video. Or, like, Destiny. Destiny was like that when I played Destiny 1. Oh, Hotline Miami was like that for a while, and then I watched a lore video on it, and all of a sudden the game made way more sense. Great video. Great fucking set of games. It might be time for another Hotline Miami playthrough. Hotline Miami 1 and 2. It's 
very similar to when I just played through Sinar Wild Hearts again uh, a few months back. It's like, well, would you look at the time? It's time to play through Sinar Wild Hearts again. What a great game. Queen Latifah time, dude. I have streamed Assassin's Creed. I've streamed Assassin's uh, complete playthroughs of Assassin's Creed 1, all the Ezio games, and 3. I dabbled in 4, but I hated it. Mainly because I went and played the newer ones, Origins and Odyssey, a little bit on stream, not full playthroughs. And then I went back to 4, and it felt like it controlled like absolute dog shit. But uh, I haven't played Assassin's Creed since then. I think the Ezio trilogy is peak Assassin's Creed, and, and uh, I'd say Brotherhood is my favorite one. I may try playing uh, Origins again, because it just got a, uh, like, FPS boosted on Xbox. Pancake, thank you for the 67 months. Evil Flame, I hope there's lore video. <laughs> there's a lore video for this game? Oh, yeah, me too. I want, like, a six-hour epic lore video on Paw Patrol. I missed the multiplayer from AC2 and Brotherhood. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard to go back to some of these older, the older Assassin's Creed games. The controls really hold them back. Oop, I missed some. I did not turn right away. But yeah, I think uh, the Ezio games are something I'll have light highlight in the future as well. Oh, Kevin, you like Bioshock 2 multiplayer? I feel like the, uh, we talk about this a lot with Bioshock 2. I feel like it, the multiplayer was 50-50. I wasn't crazy about it. I thought it was like, okay. You know, I thought it was fine. Three, three, two, two, one, one. I've played almost none of Halo uh, Infinite Season 2. I fell off that game hard like many others. I loaded it up to get the uh, achievement, the medic achievement, and then I haven't played it since. Thank God the medic achievement you could do by yourself in like less than five minutes. Pretty Chad move from 343 if I, uh, I must say. I think I'll return to Halo Infinite when co-op campaign comes out because that could be fun to play. And once Forge comes out, because I think once Forge comes out... It'll add more, like, interesting maps and modes to the game. Oh! Did I miss one? You son of a bitch. Fucking on the other side of the road and not enough time to get there. That sucks. Forge would make you morb up. I think Forge would make a lot of people morb up. It is, uh, it's pretty embarrassing how bare bones Halo Infinite launched. Pants off, thank you for the 37 months. The going through season one and getting up to level 100, that was a lot of fun. But by the time I was done, I was kind of just like, like once I got to level 100, I was kind of done with Halo.
The new Sonic gameplay kind of looks like it takes place on a Halo. Oh my god, JT, you're not wrong. I finally sat down and watched the, the Sonic uh, stuff they've been showing off. The, like, gameplay trailer and, like, the combat trailer. Oh my god, immediately cucked. I'm like, oh my god, it looks, it looks so bad. It looks so bad. I'm like, dude, 3D Sonic games? Oh, fuck. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Hey, you know what? It might be good for meme playthroughs. This is on the Series X. Yeah, the load times are so real fucking bad on it. Crimson, thank you for the 23 months. The world just looks so empty and like there was nothing to do. Also, the coins from Super Mario Odyssey were in there, which was weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. And that game's supposed to come out this year. I think like at the end of this year. Big fucking yikes. Big yikes. Hey, man, maybe they delayed, like, they delayed the Sonic movie. That helped. Nope, can't get it again. They should just make a Chow Garden game. Just make, like, Viva Pinata about Chow Garden and that you'll sell so many copies. I think for some of these, I have to intentionally run into the sign to slow down to maybe make it, but what the fuck? We do need another Viva Pinata. I gotta put. Ooh, excuse me. I gotta play the second one. I'm getting boned right now. I'm getting completely fucking railed right now by these spawns. The fact that they haven't made a mobile child garden is baffling. Yeah, that's just like printing money. Three, three, two, one, go, go. Uh, I do think GoldenEye is going to come out on on uh, next on next Sunday as part of the Xbox event. I think they're going to shadow drop it. Either that or it's coming out very soon because there's a lot of things hinting to it. Oh, I can't hit the signs either because I need to go fast. Right, there's a fucking time requirement. I hope so. If, if it actually does come out, we're playing it like day of after 2 million gamer score or the next day. God, I hope it's good. Might not be, but I hope it is. All right, that kind of worked out. I hope it's good. I hope it's on Game Pass. I hope multiplayer is dumb fun. I would love to play multiplayer with chat on that. We'll see, though. We'll see. I have to assume it's the leaked remaster that uh, got leaked last year, last December, or maybe two years ago. I forgot how long. Uh, I think it was last December. I assume it's that. Maybe they finished that version or some shit. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I think it's coming out very soon. Oh my god, finally? Are we finally free? I think we're good. Thank Christ! Fucking have mercy, it's a kid's game. Which is better, Halo Infinite or 5? Uh, Halo Infinite. Slapper's license to kill us his own achievement, yeah. Yeah, and if, if, if I play online with chat and you pick odd job, I will fucking ban you. Now nah, I'll allow it. You'll just be you'll be made fun of, which is worse. 
Phoenix, haven't watched in a while, but I'm glad we are playing something with such rich plot. Yeah, it doesn't get better lore-wise in this game. Thank you for the 500 bits. Peaches for the 15 months. Thank you. Do you think we'll see anything from Ray that isn't Sea of Thieves or Everwild? Probably not. Yeah, dude. Sea of Thieves is like kind of pulled an Uno reverse card like No Man's Sky, and it's doing really well now, and people like it. And they're still putting out content for it. Okay, this one doesn't have a timer. Sure. Uh, I would love to see what the fuck Everwild is, but... I mean, I guess Goldeneye is kind of rare-ish. But besides that, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to see anything Perfect Dark related. Even though I think that's the Coalition now. Not rare. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. A Conquer 3D platformer would be great. Just like a raunchy adult de themed uh, 3D platformer. That would be pretty pog. Imagine they just dropped a fucking another banjo trailer or some shit. That would be crazy. We're finally making Banjo 3, and we're calling it Banjo 3E. Nuts and bolts, too. Apparently, there's a rumor that Toys for Bob is working on another Crash game. I thought they were all in on fucking Call of Duty, but at least until, you know, the Microsoft purchases done. But while I love Crash Bandicoot, I would love another Spyro game. If it's true, of course, if it's true, who knows? The Spyro um, trilogy remaster is also very good. Got to have a light. Highlight that at some point as well. We need another Spyro game to balance the four Crash one. That's what I'm saying. I, one day I'm going to go back and complete Crash 4. Whenever I'm feeling like in a real bad mood and I just want to hate myself, I'll do, do for it or I'll go for it. Lamau Platinum Times? Lamau? No, Crash 4 is great. I love Crash 4, but yeah, the time trials are not great. Especially with no real good movement tech besides what's slide jumping. Like, you don't have, like, the, the running shoes or anything. It's just fucking mean. It's just mean. Would be a nice completion. See, that's the kind of game... That after I get 2 million gamer score, I'd probably try to grind out. Kind of the same with Dead Rising, right? Like, nice, chunky completions that I'm actually, like, kind of proud of instead of, like, oh, man, I finished this fucking Zitalon game in four seconds. So the Platinum Trophy is like 0.6%. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's been a little while since the game has come out, so... Maybe the... I assume there's guides for everything now, but I can't imagine there's some crazy, like... OP strategy that makes things easier. It's the fact that they're fucking Platinum, too. Like, I think in the Crash Collection, you just had to get gold? Which was already bad enough? I need to crack down 300% as well. I need to get all the orbs and the base completion. Um, which I think there's guides for now. Or there's a way to make it easier. Still kind of tedious. And um, then there's like a bunch of DLC I need to do as well. I know Crackdown 3 was like incredibly mid. But I still had some fun with it. I still had some fun with it, but yes, it was uh, not a great game. Playing it on the hardest difficulty for that achievement actually, I think, made it the playthrough more interesting. Has Nintendo said if they're doing a direct? I don't think they've announced anything yet. 
We had the Sony one, which I thought was pretty good. Then we have the Summer Games Fest, the actual Summer Games Fest on Thursday. We have the Microsoft one on Sunday. And then I think there's little ones sprinkled throughout the week that I'm not too interested in. But I don't think uh, Nintendo, the big N, have anything planned. At least not right now. DC with the four years. Didn't they have something a month ago? I think they have like an indie world. I don't think they've had like a proper tree house in a long time. They've done like two indie worlds though. Which those are kind of like, eh. Some of the, I mean, obviously some of the games in there look good, but they're not sports story. Not sports story, so I don't care. Shift bug. Thank you very much for the resub. Hey, nice. Rubble, we're all done. Sports story at the Game Fest Copium. Yeah, I fucking wish. All right, it's all three for Rubble. Sports story is my silk song. Screaming Penguin, thank you for the 62 months. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, they added a timer. For Chase and only Chase so far. Unless it's oops, unless it's every other dog. Who's the next one? We'll see if they have a timer. Uh Rocky. Give him a stick! Thank you for the five gifted subs. Sports story game pass shadow drop. I will fucking scream. It makes absolutely no sense. It won't happen, but I will scream. Oh, this one's just the recycle one, right? Okay, I guess... I guess the actual time bit was only for Chase? Okay. Uh, sure, I guess. Has there been any news on Slime Rancher? Uh, no, not since the original announcement. Uh, maybe we'll get some news uh, on Sunday. Maybe release date? It's supposed to come out this year, so very excited for that. No, Rubble doesn't get anything special. I don't think, uh... I don't think the Fire Dog got anything special either. I think it was the same thing. I hate that I'm actually jamming to this fucking ska music. Xbox Mini and Xbox 360 Mini. Why? Everything's backwards compatible. Your Xbox and Xbox 360 Mini is just a series console. You have that already. Not everything, but, you know, majority of things. Scott did come before reggae. You're right. That's that's facts. Oops. Bum, bum. Almost halfway, chat. You can't see it, but we're almost halfway. Jesse Vegas, thank you for the 15 months. Yeah, Microsoft never needs to make a mini console at all. They would, it would be more uh, a better use of their time if they just, you know, made more games backwards compatible if they could.
How long do you take for that Avatar game to come out? Um, well, when does the movie come out? I assume it's going to launch with the movie. By the way, the first Avatar game that came out based on the first movie that Ubisoft made back in the day, uh, Turbo Bad. If you can believe it. Not very good. Is that movie this year? But yeah, I assume the game is going to come out whenever the movie comes out. December. Bop, bop, bop. Aw, uh, dude, Battlefield 1943 was so fun. What a surprise that game was. I really enjoyed playing it back in the down 360. I was first in the world for a little bit. That's pretty cool. I had a picture of that. It's long gone now, but that was pretty pog. I think it was because I downloaded it as soon as it came out, and I played one game and did fairly well in it, and I loaded up the leaderboard, and I was number one. Maybe it was like, one ga like a game or two. It was very early on. Uh, by the time the third game came ar around or whatever, I was long gone, but I was up there briefly. I was up there briefly. Bad Company 3 would help the series get back from the dumpster fire. I would love it, Bad Company 3. I would love it. Our streamer number one. Dude, number one Battlefield 1943 player for roughly 10 minutes. Cappy Turin. Thank you for the prime sub, by the way. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Yeah, I mean, after the travesty that was this latest Battlefield, where do you even go? Where do you even go from here? I mean, I don't know how good Battlefield 5 was, but... I mean... This Battlefield game is bad. It's like cyberpunk bad. Like, maybe you're just like, okay, we gotta do Battlefield Bad Company 3 because that's what people want and we need to save this fucking franchise. Battlefield 5 was also bad. Oh, good. What was before Battlefield 5? It was Battlefield 1, right? Because naming games is a a struggle for many companies. I like Battlefield 1. I thought Battlefield 1 was fun. Made uh, World War 1 interesting. What's up, CC? Why is this game actually low key good? Uh, the music is better than it should be. Yeah, dude. Rhea, thank you for the 13 months. Battlefield 1 was the one the incels raged over. Yeah, because there was females in the trailer. Oh no, women. Not Famales. Zuma! Oh, don't tell me I have to go underwater. Oh, this is going to be bad if I have to go underwater. This is going to... I mean, it's going to be slow is what it's going to be. Don't do it. 
Oh! Okay. Uh, we got a phallic shaped ship. Are there no obstacles? Uh. Okay. I guess this is just a freebie. Well, I guess this is level one. Maybe on level two and three they add obstacles. Oh, okay. There are there are obstacles. Okay, good. There are obstacles. I didn't see what I hit, but I hit something. I was looking at chat because I thought we were free. Look at that rendering distance up high. That's great. Yeah, I have no idea what I hit there. Maybe I hit a fucking ghost. I would assume maybe the fish, because when I was underwater with Zuma earlier, I hit the fish and it kind of bumped me. I thought you did a trick. No, I'm just going left to right. What a desi design decision to fucking send you back to the main menu every time. Now I know why the completion for this game is like up there in time. All these fucking mini games you have to do. Jalorts, what's going on, man? That's why the game is 40 not $60. That's true. That is very true. Oh, I hit it again. I look away every time I hit something. But it doesn't do anything because I'm not being timed. Tim Tebow? Oh my god, it's actually him. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Tim. It happened again. I looked at China. I didn't see what I hit. I'm not even looking at the bones now. I'm looking at the ground. Maybe I'm not getting hit. Maybe it looked like I just did like a. It looked like I just did this. Okay. Anyway, keep on trucking. Anyway, the ska band's going hard, so that that helps. There's a tiny group of three fish that I hit. Oh, is that it? All right. I mean, like I said, we're not getting timed here, so as long as I keep getting the bones, it's totally fine. They're like four pixels wide. Dude, everything in this game is scuffed. It's a Paw Patrol game. Has anyone made a Bones Day joke yet? Oh my god, I forgot all about that fucking meme. Bones Day or no Bones Day? 
Oh, I saw the I saw the fish that time. I see the fish now. That poor dog. That poor dog just wanted to fucking sleep and relax. And this asshole picks the dog up. Oh, it's no bones day. Honestly, I think I preferred you gone to knuckles from that. That meme didn't last very long, the Bones Day. Yukondan <laughs> Bones Days. I wonder where the guy stopped. Maybe it wasn't getting, like, the interaction. And he's like, alright. I'm, I'm done with this. Gotta think of something else. Boom. He still does it? Oh, damn. I guess it just fell out of popularity for the most part. All right. Those poor fish that I've been running over or hovering, gliding over, they're safe now because I never have to go back underwater. Yeah, I plan on watching Summer Games Fest. It's uh, Thursday at 1 p.m. Central, I believe. I have no idea how long it is, but I think the last one was like an hour. I didn't watch the last one because I didn't know how good it was going to be. But apparently it was pretty good, so I plan on watching this one. Thank you for putting me on the mini games menu, by the way. I think it did that last time as well. All right, next is Sky. User helicopter. Class is his favorite. What's up, Simon? Am I going to play anything after it? Um, I'll probably just watch that unless something gets like stealth dropped or some shit it's my day off so uh, but we'll see because I'm taking Saturday off so I don't know three, three, two, two, one. Go, go. oh this one is also timed okay great So these are just like kind of time trials, but not really. That popping on that building on the right, yikes. What is this, Legends Arceus? Got him, dude, I got him good. Oh my god, De it's like Desert Strike and the Genesis. What a throwback. There was like Desert Strike and Jungle Strike, right? It was like two separate games. Oh my god, by one second I made it. Holy shit. That was close. Oh, Urban Strike. Was that what it was called? Or was it all three? All right, back to the fucking main menu again for some reason. Yo, what's up, Crazy? How's it going? Whew, excuse me. Oh, it's three different games. Fuck me. Dibby, thank you for the 13 months, man. Sorry, 23. 13 in a row. Go!
near him. A lot of straightaways there. Okay, thank you. Oh, I left early. Fuck, a little too early on that one. Whoops. This is the same map with more balloons. Yeah, you have to do three levels for each uh, dog, and it's the same level, just slightly harder. Because game design. Game design. I've only played Prototype 2. Never played the first one. Did like the second one, though. Uh, it is random each time, yeah. When we were doing uh, Chase, the fucking cop dog, we got bad luck a lot. I would love another prototype game. Same. I don't know. Who made the prototype games? I don't even know who made those. I never played the first one because apparently the achievements were kind of hard. But the second one were more forgiving. Oh, glasses did. Okay. Glasses, make another one. Oh, was it Activision? Yeah, I don't remember what made them hard. I just remember doing, re fuck, doing research on it. And it looked real tough. So I'm like, oh, I'm good. But yeah, second one was fun. And way easier. I didn't see the fucking bones. I just saw the goddamn boost. God damn it. And Radical Entertainment. Okay. How close to 100% are you? Uh, I'll tell you right now. I think we're about halfway. Bam, bam. Yeah, we're halfway. It always seems to be the mini games that have the actual time that are way fucking annoying. Microsoft could bring it back. It's true. The the fir the literally the first one's just the second one, but way harder. I know in the first one you play as Alex Merson, the second one he's like the bad guy, but. Yeah, that game was, like, brutal at times. Powers were cool, though. Being able to, like, fly and scale buildings and shit. I feel like Saints Row 4, some of the powers you had in Saints Row 4, like the glide and the running up buildings, was just ripped straight from Prototype. Saints Row 4 and Gat out of Hell, that is. Oh my god, hitting the balloon actually helped there. That was not good. With how close some of these like time requirements are, I'm a little concerned. Yep. We gotta go faster. We don't get it. Is there a reason the second speed boost canceled out the first one? Uh, because this game is awful. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever see another uh, Sunset Overdrive on Xbox, at least not for the foreseeable future. Maybe PlayStation. Alright, so one minute 15.
it's so weird to think about that you might have to fuck. You might have to dodge a boost if you're already boosted. Fuck. I thought I was at the end of my boost. second early. It's also down to randomness as well, right? I had nowhere to go there. It's just balloons everywhere. There we go. Nice. Nope. Fuck. We need, like, way more of these fucking time stops. I can't believe these RNG mechanics are in a fucking Paw Patrol game. Shit. Uh, we might have it here. Yeah, we should be good. By four seconds. Prototypes are still forty dollars. Fucking why? King Tiger. Thank you for the eighteen months. The Gum Cuzzler sixty nine. Thank you for the twenty seven. Prototypes are broken on PC. Why is that? They don't work with multi-threaded CPUs. Oh, that seems like an oversight. That seems like an oopsies. I can't believe they're so fucking expensive. Why? It's not a fucking Pokemon game. Yeah, dude. Cheetah. Thank you for the 23. Three, three, two, one, go, go. Yeah, is it like the re-releases or what? Bum, 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 ba -da, ba -ba, fuck me. Oh, the double boost making me go slow sucks. I'm slow. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I just hit the B button, I boosted? Alright, sure. It was almost like I soared that boost. Anyway. Try to get there later, still didn't matter. I hope the time is a minute 30, even though it, that's still not enough time. Fuck off. I guess we'll at least see what the uh, time requirement is here. Oh, actually. Please be 130. Please be 130. Oh, thank God. Okay. Fucking get me out of here. You have to get all the bones and the target time in the same run, I believe, yo. Hey, we're here thinking about Callisto Protocol. Yeah, I just got showed off at the uh, the Sony thing. It's coming out uh, this year, right? December? Yeah, it comes out in December, and I think uh, Dead Space, the Dead Space remake comes out in January, which I kind of wish they had more time to let each other breathe, but what are you going to do? Very, very excited for. Yeah, it's like early December. Yeah, that's going to be the new Dead Space 3. You're not wrong. Three, three, two, two, one, one, go, go. It looks so good. 
It looked so good. I hope we see more at the Summer Games Fest. I think I saw in that same tweet about the Modern Warfare 2 campaign stuff. Some Callisto Protocol stuff, but... It just looks so good. Also, there's no obstacles here. Okay. You just played Dead Space 3 Co-op for the first time? Hell yeah. Dead Space 3 Co-op was tolerable. Didn't really like the crafting system too much, but Dead Space 3 Co-op was fun. Hey, maybe if uh, Chibi likes playing Resident Evil 5 with me and she makes her way over to Dead Space 3, she's still playing 1 right now, maybe we'll do, uh, I can do co-op with her on that. Is that under a minute? It was, thank God. Uh, play some Fear 3. God. One day I promise I'll play through Fear 1 and maybe Fear 2 on stream. I think Fear 1 is short enough that we can knock it out in a, uh, in a single stream, but maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, excuse me. Who's playing Resident Evil 5 with me? Chibi Doki, a VTuber, who I have befriended. If your PC needs a file to run the FPS correctly. Uh, that makes sense, because when I boot it up, fear the first time it was like running fine but like something about the HUD was like so off I think the HUD was like super tiny I don't know if I could adjust that or what but I figure there's maybe some mods or something I can add to make the game either run better or look better but yeah we're playing Resident Evil 5 with Chibi on Tuesday pending any schedule changes I think we'll go for a few hours, see how far we get, and then maybe reschedule to possibly finish the game. And then maybe do the uh, the DLC. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll go terribly, and Chibi will hate me at the end of it and never want to play games with me again. But we'll have to see. We'll have to find out. Am I playing a Sheva? Oh, I'll play with whoever. I don't give a fuck. I will say, I tried playing Resident Evil 5 on keyboard and mouse, like Revelations, and it was not good. So I'll be using controller. When I, um... When I would just, like, try to turn, like, turn down a corner, it would just, like, not read the mouse correctly and I would just like completely shift like it wasn't a smooth transition it was weird not as smooth but I, like in Revelations it was great it worked totally fine just had to tweak some like things in the settings but even with tweak tweaking things in the settings I couldn't get Resident Evil 5 keyboard or mouse where I wanted it to Five is where you can share ammo and heals and stuff like that, yeah. There's uh, doors you need two people for. There's times where you get split up, and if one person dies, then it, like, you both have to restart. That's true. The quick time events on controller will be better. Because I'm more comfortable with where the fucking buttons are than the keys on a keyboard. Alright, well, I guess fuck you, middle lane. Oh, never mind.
Oh my god, yeah, that's right. The puzzle at the, like, toward the end of the game, we're in the underground civilization or whatever. You can't get in the way because the ray of light will kill you. Oh my god. Gonna be a nightmare. If we make it that far. I'm not sure if we will. God, not being able to move and shoot either. Ugh. That's gonna be rough. LG Foot. Thank you for the 47. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're gonna die of fun. Oh, we're gonna be dying of fun a fucking lot. I don't know if she's gonna be playing keyboard or mouse, but we're gonna be playing the Resident Evil 5 Gold version. And, uh, yeah, I told her, like, yeah, the game runs fine. Should be able to... We should be able to invite each other, no problem. Fingers crossed. And then keyboard or mouse control, it's up to you. I had Resident Evil 5 originally on Steam, but it was like, I guess the uh, Games for Windows one, because I, t I tried to launch it. It's like, you need to log into Games for Windows. I'm like, oh, absolutely fucking not. No, I don't. So I got the gold version, which is on sale for like seven bucks. All right, that went smoothly. You have to be subbed to be in the Discord? No, anyone can be in the Discord. If you are sub, though, there is a, um, like, a sub-only part of the Discord. Well, you could just shit on the plebs if you wanted to. Oh, good. We unlocked the Citizen family. Thank God. All right, so that should be everything, right? All right, now what the fuck is just is pups? Oh, pups in general. Okay. All right, I need to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah, dude, I unlocked a new family. Let's go. Be right back, gamers. All right, we're back. Let's see what the pups have in store for us. Let's go. I told you, man, the music is bumping. Bam, 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 bam. Select your pup. Uh, ch ch Chase, I guess. Three, three, two, two, one, one, two, two. Oh my god! Oh, I thought it was in first person. Fuck, I got excited. <laughs> I thought it was a dog. Oh, is this the same thing, but... Oh, you're just a dog. Okay. Alright, sure. I thought we were doing dog POV. I don't know if I have to do each and every single one. I don't think so. I fucking hope not. I'll consult the guide, but we should be good. Also, there's like no need to jump right now, so I'm just going from left to right. Okay. Biscuits! Oh, speaking of biscuits, I can go for some fucking red lobster cheddar biscuits right now. <laughs> Gameplay, baby. Gameplay. In it for the biscuits. Dude, glasses, when you're here, we'll go to red lobster. Maybe you can have uh, the same curse Tina and I have when we go to red lobster, where... We've each been to Red Lobster at... We've been there multiple times, but... At one point, each of us thought we were gonna die at Red Lobster. Maybe now's your time. Your time. You've never been to Red Lobster? Oh, man, you get to get the biscuits and you might die. I have been on a bit of a Red Lobster kick, but Tina and I haven't gone. You have, like, 10,000 allergies? Oh, let's go. Why would you die? I forgot what Tina's thing was. But uh, I've told the story a bunch of times. Uh, we were at Red Lobster one day. Uh, one night. And uh, in the middle of the meal, I don't know what it was, but uh, I just told Tina, like, straight up, I'm like, hey, my heart hurts. And I was, like, holding my heart. And then after, like, two minutes, I was fine. But that was a weird two minutes.
That wasn't heartburn. But yeah, I got over it. Oh, you got hives. That's what it was. Uh. Okay, I only need to do the levels. I see. Okay. I only need to do the levels once each, not with each dog. Just gotta check this quickie chat. Let's see. Give me one second. So since the game doesn't track manually, chat, I have like a, a word doc up just to keep track of everything I've gotten. That way we don't get fucking bamboozled at the end. Because God forbid the game would keep track of gold bones you got, or gold medals, or whatever the hell these are. It's only happened twice every time. So fun. Yeah, so Tina got rare achievement. Tina got hives the two times. My heart hurt the one time, but then every other time, Red Lobster has been fun. Dude, I fuck with Red Lobster. I know people are kind of like whatever about it, but I fuck with Red Lobster. I think it's fun. It's pretty good. What's my favorite thing to dip fries in? <laughs> Ketchup. I, I like ketchup. I'm, I'm just a normal ketchup guy. Three, three, two, I think Tina mixes one. ketchup and mayonnaise, but uh, I'm just a normie and I do ketchup. Yeah, it's fancy sauce. It's fancy sauce. Raising cane sauce. Oh, that reminds me. Chat, there was this uh, tweet yesterday that was trending. Uh, and it was like, you have to get rid of one of these four restaurants. Which ones do you get rid of? And the choices were Raising Cane's, IHOP, Olive Garden, and Wingstop. And uh, a lot of people were just going in on how much fucking IHOP sucks. I haven't been to IHOP in a while, but the one time Tina and I had Wingstop, I think it was Wingstop, it was like barely edible. It was pretty bad. Now I say this, I haven't been to IHOP in a while. It's been years since I've been to IHOP. But the last time I went to IHOP, I thought it was all right. You kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Raising Cane should even be on there. That's illegal. IHOP, I remember being okay. Maybe it's terrible now. Uh, Olive Garden, hello? The best Italian restaurant? on the planet when you're here your family and then Wingstop which is barely food I don't even think we were dating the last time we went to IHOP didn't we go to IHOP late after an RTX one year Tina I mean I know it's been many years maybe I'm misremembering Of the four, I would definitely pick Wingstop as bottom of the barrel. I'd probably put Raisin Cane's at number one. Uh, then Olive Garden and IHOP. I think that'd be the... You don't mind IHOP? Fuck, let's go to IHOP then. Let's go to IHOP when Glasses is here. I love when Glasses is here. We're not going to take her to any fucking, like, Austin restaurants. We're going to go to Red Lobster and IHOP. This is the best Texas has to offer. I'm sorry. I do want to go to a Waffle House. The argument people made was like, if you want to go and have mediocre food at a late night hour, go to Waffle House. Even though I heard Waffle House is per, per, uh, supposedly really good and not IHOP. 
but I don't know, man. I was just reading this while I was on the toilet, so. I have heard Waffle House is based, but I've never been. Yeah, I thought you go to Waffle House for the fights. Is that where that vine takes place? Where the two cooks are uh, fighting? And the guy's like, can I get a waffle? I think that's what he says. You know the one. I assume that's a Waffle House. Okay, that makes sense. Denny's and Applebee's are bottom barrel food. Tina and I almost had Applebee's the other day, but it was like our fifth option. And then uh, the last time I went to Denny's, I think is when Tina and I were visiting the Grumps. But we also went to Denny's at like midnight. So it was fine. It's fine. Midnight food. But I think that might have been the only time I've been to Denny's in like my life. Maybe one time before that when I was way younger. All right. One more pups and we're done here. Denny's is breakfast food, yeah, but I th I'm, I think they're open 24-7. or They're at least open super late. Yeah, dude. Three, three, two, two, Denny's is the I've been drinking all night. I need to sober up restaurant. I feel like... Um, yeah, I don't remember the last time we went to Applebee's, but I enjoyed it. I swear to God, Applebee's, TGI Fridays, and Chili's are all the same restaurant in my head. They all blend together. I don't know which is which. I know one is the vine. Welcome to Chili's. There's the office joke. I think it's a joke from the office. Maybe I'm wrong. The apples or the bees. And then one you can only go at uh, legally one day a week. Oh, I've never been to Golden Corral. I have never been to Golden Corral and I have no interest. Hey, chat, has anyone ever been to a Long John Silver's? I'm just trying to figure out who the fuck goes to Long John Silver's to keep them in business. Who the fuck goes to Long John Silver's? I don't even know what they serve there. I assume it's seafood, but like, I can't even tell you what's on the menu. You get the longer the Johns. It's fried fish. This is another restaurant. Uh, earmuffs, Tina, if you're still listening. Who the fuck goes to Boston Market? Who is keeping them in business? Chat, we were talking about this the other day. And you know who's apparently a big fan of Boston Market? Big fan. Anthony Chilled Chaos. Big fan of Boston Market. He's like, the fucking chicken's good. I'm like, I, all right. Apparently him and Jess, big Boston Market people. The chicken is okay in a pinch. I like the idea that you're in so much of a pinch that you want chicken, but your only option is Boston Market. His name's Anthony. His first name's Anthony. His middle name is Chilled. His last name is Chaos. It's a family name. You can't make fun of him. Uh, we'll go to the Cheesecake Factory. We fuck with the Cheesecake Factory. How we feel on Fuddruckers? Uh, I've been to Fuddruckers a few times. It's all right. 
It's okay. The Cheesecake Factory menu is a dictionary. It is overwhelming if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, I love how we're only eating at chain restaurants. I mean, I'm sure we'll go to, like, other staples like Torchies and stuff. Maybe Home Slice. Alamo. That's a movie theater, but you know what I mean. They got some good food there. But no, we're talking about fucking Red Lobster and IHOP. Listen, man, I don't give a shit. Texas is really known for barbecue and Tex-Mex, but I don't really fuck with barbecue too much. Oh, I've been to an A&W once, and it was pretty good. I think it was at a, uh, a GDQ event. We just walked over, and there was an A&W, and I'm like, I never had that. I guess we can go get it. Yeah, I liked it. I am a fake Texan. I am. We went to, uh, what cow was here? We got some barbecue. Ooh, another achievement. Ace. Shout out to all the aces in chat. All right, so that is every, that's at every time trial minigame. All right, so time trial is done. What's my opinion? Whataburger? Love Whataburger. Love Whataburger. All right. Collect them all. What do we got here for collect them all? Okay. There are, there are nine medals. Three on each of these. Okay. Sure. I think uh, Whataburger is a perfectly serviceable fast food restaurant. Establishment, whatever. I'm going to pick Sky for glasses, smile. Alright, so what the fuck is this? Oh, it's just collect the, the bones. Okay, we just have a time limit. I actually get to play the game instead of just going left and right. Oh my god. Okay, Ray William Johnson showed up on my screen and then fucked off. I don't know what to... I don't know what to think of that. It's like, see you later, dude. Wait, two? Shouldn't there be three? Oh, boy. Whatever, whatever. I gotta learn what the optimal route is for each of these. Oh, okay. He's saying you're doing great, but he's getting cut off. What? Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, there's a time limit, but you just need to get all the bones. Never mind. Oh, that's way easier. What's the best fast food fries? I still stick with fucking uh, McDonald's. I'm a normie, I know. I'm a normie. They're just so fucking good, dude. They're just so good. Carl's Jr. fries? I wish I remember what Carl's Jr. fries tasted like. Oh, Chick-fil-A waffle fries are good. Just actually waffle fries in general, I love. I know they're not for everybody. But I still think my favorite fry is the uh oh god. If Tina was here, she'd be able to tell you. It's like the the ones that are often frozen. I forgot what kind of fries they're called. But it's really hard to fuck up french fries. Crinkle, they're crinkle fries, thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, look, it's a little heart. That's cute. I was going to say curly fries, but I'm like, that's not right. Yeah, crinkle fries. I love those. Five guys, five, five guys, five guys have uh, decent fries. They do. I don't really get them too often. The good thing is, though, if you ask for a small fry at Five Guys, they give you one to feed a family of like they give you enough to feed a family of five. They just like dump fries in your bag. Oh, sweet potato fries are god tier. Love sweet potato fries. Five Guys' best item is the peanuts. Dude, I never fuck with peanuts at all. Oh, chat, fuck. 66% of the way there, let's go! Two thirds! I used to get five guys a lot. I haven't got five guys too much recently. Um, Tina and I did eat it uh, like a couple of weeks ago. It was still pretty good. But, yeah. My go-to burger, my favorite burger is uh, Shake Shack. It's expensive, but we don't go there too often, but I love the Shake Shack burger. That's my favorite. Three, three, two, two, one, one. You've been getting Jersey Mike's a lot more? Oh, I've been all about Jersey Mike's. Me and Jersey Mike are fucking best buds, dude. What's up, Dark Lion? Oh, I can't make the jump! Cringe! Yeah, me and, me and Jersey Mike are so close, I just call him Mike. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have had Shake Shack. I am a number one supporter of both their burgers and their fries. I've not had their shakes yet. Or if I have, I don't have them often. I don't remember if I had a shake there. It's fucking good, though. I was about to say, how am I missing 16 bones? my feelings on Panera? I've never been to Panera. Tina's a big Panera person, or at least she was. I think I've only been to Panera like three times in my life. You walked by, I think, about 25 months. Galac or Galaxy. Galaxy, thank you for the 18 months. Those new chicken sandwiches are great at Panera. Ooh. I do love me some chicken sandwiches. You're getting a Torchies all the way up in Columbus? Aw, oh, dude, Torchies is so fucking good. Pulled pork or pulled chicken? Oh, chicken for sure. I did not think I was going to make that jump, but okay. I'm not a big pork guy. How's Paw Patrol going? Uh, we are in the grind right now, the gauntlet of minigames. But we got through the campaign. Or campaign's a little bit of a stretch. We got through the story mode um, pretty reasonably fast. We only had to restart one level, which is good.
No, this is pretty much the main gameplay. But these are just separate mini games. This uh, game has like two different forms of gameplay. Three, maybe at most. If I got this game as a kid, I'd read a book instead. Listen, when you're a kid and you don't know any better and you just see something you like, in this case, Paw Patrol, you're, you're probably fucking over the moon. Does it boot you back to the menu when you do another mission? Uh, most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this game has some choices. Some of them not consistent. It's just a mess. Three, three, two, two, one, one, go, go. This game has been an absolute drag, but I mean, listen, it's the third game in the series on Xbox. I got to complete them all. And what better way to celebrate the return of Sub Sunday than this? A classic. At least the music's not bad. Yeah, it's uh yeah, we surprisingly very good. Aram Qua, thank you guys for the resubs. Yeah. Yeah, non-subs, if you're still here, holy fucking dude. Holy fuck, indeed. Oh, that's a good Phil Spencer emote. Little Phil W right there. Oh, that's true. Chat, there is a fourth Paw Patrol game coming out, but it is a kart racer. I saw it pop up on uh, TA. If it's anything like the uh, other racing games, like Race with Ryan and the other one we played, you could just put it on auto drive and let the game play itself. Oh, what the f yeah, what the fuck is PJ Masks? I assume it's a Nickelodeon show for kids. Because that's another game that came out, but I don't know anything about PJ Masks. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, it's a Disney show. Okay. All I know is uh, it looked like it was made for kids, which means probably easy achievements. Doot, doot, doot. Kind of went the other way here for some reason. I guess trying to mix it up. And before the hardest gamer score, yeah. It would be funny if someone made a kid's game, we'll say PJ Masks but made some, like, really fucking hard, intense, uh, oh, I'm missing three bones, uh, achievements for, like, no reason. Oh, they're right there. I'm blind. Just like if Peppa Pig was, like, a 100-hour completion. complete the game 500 times. I fucking hate that shit, dude. I hate that shit in games. I love achievements, but goddamn, sometimes achievements were a mistake. The city! Petition to rename pulled pork sandwiches to pull out porkers. Uh, I'm not signing that. You're on your own on that one. You could have that one. I'm not going to sign that one. Three, three, two, Good luck. One, one, go, go. Good luck on your endeavor.
Binya Binya? Are we talking about Gullah Gullah Island? You said in chat I missed it. As you can see, I'm gaming hard right now. Loved Gullah Gullah Island. That's some classic Nick Jr. shit right there. Fucking had Binya Binya had a banging theme song. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't even know what Binya Binya was. Was it just like a yellow frog or some shit? What a weird show thinking about it now. He was a polywog. You're right. He was a polywog. You know what else was a fucking weird show that I loved as a kid? That had like a, something weird like that on it? Fucking Cousin Skeeter. Oh, I missed a coin. Any coins? Any coins in chat? Uh-oh. Cousin Skeeter had that puppet. Also, like, the main actor in it was in uh, Coach Carter. Great movie, by the way, if you haven't seen Coach Carter. Where the fuck is the coin? Oh, found it. Cousin Skeeter is a fever dream. It is. Sam Jackson was not in Cousin Skeeter. No. That would have been amazing. He actually voiced Cousin Skeeter. Said motherfucker a lot on Nickelodeon. Very weird show. Oh, good. I got his car. I'm thinking of watching the new Top Gun for The new Top Gun is supposed to be, like, really good. Like, really good. I think today after the stream, I'm going to order some food or fucking warm up some food. I haven't decided yet. And uh, watch the first Top Gun because I've never seen it. And then uh, maybe at some point watch the, the new one. Three, three, two, two, one, one. At first, people were saying, like, oh, the movie's really good. And I'm like, I don't know if this is, like, a meme. Is this, like, another Morbius? But then, like, more people were saying it unironically. And I'm like, is this movie actually fucking good? And apparently it is. Tom Cruise makes some good movies. He's a fucking psychopath. But he's a pretty goddamn good actor. It's like separating the art from the artist. Like the new Mission Impossible movie that's coming out? Probably gonna be Pog Champ, but he still scares me. He does do his own stunts. It's crazy a man that's like four feet tall is doing his own stunts and shit. But yeah, uh, fucking uh, crazy guy. Crazy guy Tom, that's his name. Is it in his, in his 70s? I don't think he's that far. He might be in his 50s. Uh, let's see. Thomas Cruz. He turned 60 in July. Wow. July 3rd, he turned 60. Fuck me. I think the worst Tom movie, or Tom movie, Tom Cruise movie I saw was the new uh, Mummy movie. He was in that, right? He was like the main character. That movie was so bad. But I don't think I've seen, I obviously haven't, haven't seen all of his movies, but that one comes to mind. Oh my God, dude, the trailer with no sound. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> oh, what a mess. That movie was doomed from the start. Oh, speaking of the mummy. Actually, unironically. Hold on. 
The Mummy Demastered game? Oh, shit, would that be other under M or T? Uh, I think it'd be under... I have too many fucking games. Oh, this game right here is made by Way Forward, the Shantae people. Actually really fucking good. It's a really good Metroidvania game. Like, I had a blast with this game. The movie? Awful. This game? Really good. It's just so weird that it's inspired by The Mummy. Anyway, check that game out. The movie, the, the mummy does need to bring back Brendan Fraser. I'm glad he's, uh, or Fraser. Is it, there's nine there? I don't remember. Those classic mummy movies are so good. No eye, okay. But yeah, if you're looking for a fun Metroidvania game, highly recommend that one. Not too hard to complete, not too long. Fun all the way throughout. It goes on sale pretty often as well. Another banger by WayForward, if you can believe it. Oh, fuck, I forgot this shit over here. Remember CGI The Rock? Oh my god, how can I forget? The Scorpion King launched his movie career. Not the rock scorpion. Anything but the rock scorpion. Listen, the CGI back then was, it, it was something, all right? There's, there's like four Scorpion King movies, yeah. The Rock was only in the first one, and then it's it's always like a wrestler or a fucking MMA, an MMA fighter, excuse me. I think like Randy Couture's in one of them. Listen, the Doom movie, the FPS scene as a kid, or when I was younger, I probably a teenager at that point, was fucking hype. All right, obstacle race. Oh, is this like the same thing? All right, same thing. I wonder what this is gonna be. Uh, Abe, see you later. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's like an actual... Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess this is an obstacle course. And there's 14 of these. All right. Sure. I wonder if this is time-based or just finished before it's over. Oh, great. Where the fuck is the next one? Oh, it's over there. If only I could zoom the camera out or there was an arrow. Or I guess I wasn't blind. There you go. Okay, yeah, just finish it. Oh, Paul Court, that's funny. That's comedy. Dude, the fucking shift arrive being Joe from Family Guy is so funny. How many achievements do you have left? Seven more. Seven more. We're getting close. Hey, Peter. 
He's not walking. He's uh, rolling on over. And it's just like, you know, rocks in the sidewalk. So it's making him jump up and down. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I guess the symbols are different now? Uh, sure. Pop. I did it. Sonic 06, where I would say beat her every time you talk to an NPC. Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, they sounded like Joe. The way they would just go, hey, hey. Later. What's up, Patrick? We're talking about Shift and Hasfire appears. Is Hasfire uh, Shift's reply guy? Can't believe over 2,000 people watching this shit stain. I love this community. Shout out to the Raiders. Shout out to the subs. Shout out to the Lurkers, non subs hanging out. People watching on YouTube. Hey, if uh, YouTube, if you made it this far, uh, almost four hours in this video, Ray, drop Ray. a Ray Smells in the comments. Drop a Ray Smells. Ray Smelly or a poop emoji or some shit. Get creative. Chat, not you. Obviously, you're fucking here, chat, not you. You know what, YouTube? I'm changing it. Right, chat smells. Or right both. I don't know. I can't control you. I can only control you guys so much. That's done. Pog O oh, me when it's super smelly bust. here. <laughs> Store order from frameratemerch.com. Ooh, some pins and a shirt. Another shirt? That's a spicy order. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That fucking bass line, though. Three, three, two, 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 one, go. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. So the completion time for this is apparently like seven hours, but we might finish this in under five. I feel like that might be an overestimate on TA. Or maybe I'm just cracked. Who knows, dude? Who knows? You ever consider codenames with children group? Uh, I've played codenames in person uh, once. I don't know. It's, it's, it's intimidating because everyone's been playing the game so much. And I'm just like, I don't know how to play codenames. I'm really bad at it. Maybe I'll fuck with the game a little more IRL and then possibly I'll play with them online. Dazzle, thank you for the six year resub. 
Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And before the final thing is stupid long. Well, after like these like obstacle courses we're doing on all three levels, it's just like the dancing mini game. Uh, at least according to this, and we should be done. Let me see. Pup boogie. Yeah, I think so. I guess we'll find out. I guess I shouldn't get too excited, right? I could easily fuck something up, but I feel like we've been good. We got gold on all the levels. We're getting gold on everything in these mini games because I'm keeping track, so. We'll see what happens, I guess. But reminder about the schedule coming up tomorrow, there is no stream. Tuesday is Resident Evil 5 with Chibi. Um, Wednesday is up in the air right now. No idea what I'm doing. Thursday, we're going to watch the um, Summer Games Fest. Friday is Mario Soccer. Saturday, I'm off. And Sunday is the Xbox and Bethesda event. And we go for 2 million gamer score with My Little Pony and Peppa Pig. I have no idea how long Games Fest is going to be. Maybe like an hour? Hopefully longer than fucking Sony's thing. That's true. Maybe GoldenEye somewhere in there. We'll see if it actually if it actually launches. Is E3... Th oh, yeah, E3's dead. At least this year it's dead. It's 20 minutes. Yeah, it's actually Three, seven minutes. Two, one, one. Go, go. They get all the news out in speedrun fashion. Summer Games Fest is actually yet again just Rainy Pitch for doing magic tricks. Up, up. Uh, maybe Thursday I might do a short stream since I'm not streaming on Thursday like after Summer Games Fest we'll see I gotta see what I'm doing on Wednesday first Getting a 2 million gamer score with Peppa Pig for the meme. We're adding My Little Pony as well because Peppa Pig isn't really that long of a game, so I'm doing kind of two for one. Double feature stream, yeah. You still have a flip phone, Uncle Curly? What are you, a drug dealer? I mean, listen. Someone's gotta do it, right? Oh my god, I can barely see that. Bum, bum, bum. Maybe Thursday after the, um, after the Summer Games Fest, I could just load up uh, Yakuza Kiwami again, because I could do some grinding in that. We could just hang out and talk for a couple hours. What's up, Spencer? I got some fucking grinding I need to do in the Coliseum. Oh, chat. We're 5,000 away. I think that's a lot for what I have left. 
You made a decision to chop all your hair off tomorrow. Been there. Good luck. Hopefully, um, you know, you don't have like a widow's peak or something you didn't know about. Chrome Dome is the easiest lifestyle. I hear that a lot. I hear a lot of people are like, eh, it's like, it, it's, you know, you feel weird about going bald at first, whether you choose to do it or you have to because you're losing your hair, but it's like, once you actually do it and commit, it's actually not that bad. I'm like, fuck. Interesting. Bald Ray when? Fucking, I don't know, man. My hairline's pretty terrible, so fucking maybe in my late 30s. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Oh, we got every card in the game. Let's go. Another one. You know them all. Oh, boy, do I. Past my 30s like 24 years ago, it feels that way. Blitzox, how often would you say you have to shave your head? Also, do you do it yourself with like a razor or do you just go out to get it done? Ray pulling the, the usual asking a question but can't look at chat for a minute. I would recommend a safety razor to shave your head. Oh, absolutely. That seems to be the move. Once a week, you do it yourself. Oh, nice. I don't fall asleep. Have you heard of hard span? <laughs> Fucking feels dab man is so good. Uh, I have heard of hard space ship breaker. I heard it's really good. I heard of... Um, Oh my god, I forgot his name of his name of the channel. Oh my god. Skill up, holy shit. I lost it. Lost in the old noggin. Skill up was talking about it. Uh okay. Time to dance. Pup pup boogie. You guys ready to fucking dance? Three, three, two, two, one, one, go, go. These are two minutes each, huh? Well, fuck me. All right, there's an achievement required for score here. I think it's like 13,000, so I actually have to pay attention here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I'm actually dumb. Hit. There's two buttons. I hit the wrong one. Jesus Christ, make fun of me. I might not get it here because the notes might not be coming up fast enough, but maybe in level three.
You know what, Glass? You were right. This is kind of a jam. Ooh. Some moolah. Ten thousand, let's go! Almost. Almost. Boogie Master. Oh, it's 12,000. Never mind. I just got it. Cool. Oh, I got the 10,000 I needed there. I didn't know I could skip through that. The counter. I can't believe the counter was going up that slow. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Alright, so we need all the pup treats, mini games, gold, and then... Hmm, I think we're still missing a big chunk. Gotta show every point you got. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, any clue when you're gonna be playing Kingdom Hearts 2? I have no idea. HNSV. No fucking clue. Base Alley, Vanilla, Irish. Thank you, guys. Ooh, oh my god, there's more buttons. It's times like this when you really appreciate how long two minutes truly is. It's like I'm in school again. And time is moving in slow motion. It is like 120 seconds. Crazy. Halfway, baby. Just about halfway. And this isn't like the other thing where I could just run left to right and pay, like, no attention. I actually have to pay attention here. Oh my god, will I get to 100 or will I fucking blow it? Let's go! Nice. All right, let's see it count all the way up. Just take it all in. All right, 1,000. Nice. Nice. They really thought this was the best way to do this. This was their solution. Wh why? Yeah, like, dude. speed it up. All, yeah, also the noise. I'm just going to I'm just going to hit A. I'm gonna, we we got gold. We got gold. Yeah, two minutes to do the fucking game and then ten minutes of waiting. Bam, bam. All right. 
If we get gold in this, that should hopefully be it. And then our, our journey will be over. Well, yeah, Harvey. Harvey, don't worry. I'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. You missed a slapper of a game, dude. Let me tell you. You missed out. I like how judging from the score, I don't actually need to beat the other dog. I just need to get 10,000 points. But no mercy. Like Captain Insano. So the hardest part about the minigames were definitely some of the driving levels. With the random ass... Uh, biscuit placement. Oops, fucked up again. It's crazy that the cop one was the hardest. We had to reset like, like eight times in a row for that, uh, for that dude. Everything else though was pretty self-explanatory. Only had to reset one level, thank God. This could have been a worse completion. be it 24 a cinderella sounds different <laughs> this is the paw patrol version killed her killed her all right hopefully everything works out we're done Absolutely fucking not. Get me out of here. I should have left it for the final one. Oh, okay. There is something about this not popping. Hold on one second. Uh, the achievement should unlock. If it doesn't, exit to the main menu and force the game to restart. Okay. I think this was... Oh, no, no, no. It was delayed. We're good. We're good, baby. We're good. Why does it get all achievements and achievement? Because it's the Platinum Trophy and they just lazily poured it over. Whenever a game on Xbox has a get all achievements achievement, there is not even, like, not even memeing. It's like 50-50 if it works or not. It's almost always glitched, and it's so annoying. But uh, hey, knock that out in about four hours and 15 minutes, according to this recording. Seven hours, please. Yeah, Seven hours. I'm a fucking gamer. Seven hours. How fucking dare you? How dare you? Less than 14K away. We are at 13,680 gamer score way until 2 million gamer score. And that ends the trilogy of the Paw Patrol games on Xbox. There is a fourth one coming out, but it's a kart racer, so the lore will be completely different. Uh, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I don't know why you did, but I appreciate it. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>